oh my gosh, a tsunami is coming? Yeah. This is the perfect time to surf. You could die. No, that just adds the extra thrill. We need to get in the car and drive away fast. We won't be fast enough. No, I drive like Lightning McQueen down those highways. That tsunami will never catch us. Come on, we have to evacuate. We just got to the beach. Plus, I really need a tan. We need to go right now. Ugh, y'all just go. I'll stay here and play in the sand and wait for the tsunami to just pass. The only thing that will be passing is your soul when it passes away. Oh. I think a tsunami's coming. How did you know? Was it the 100 foot tall wave right in front of us? Yeah. Wait, why aren't you evacuating? I've accepted my fate, so I'm just gonna stand here and wait for it to come. One hour later. Where am I? Wait, does that sign say Japan? I'm from California! Did I really get carried across the Pacific Ocean? There is a whole boat on top of our house. How does that even happen? Oh my gosh, the tsunami just wiped out the whole town. Oh, actually, I see Walmart. Walmart's still open, y'all. Um, does anyone have a boat or something? Because I'm a little stuck here. The purge will now begin. Oh my goodness, I have been waiting for this. <gasps> I have to figure out where my ex is right now because I think I should pay them a visit. Wait, I have a whole hit list. Let's get started. This purge is making me hungry. I just really want a bag of Doritos. I'm about to get the last bag. Uh-uh, no you're not. Ah! Ah! There we go. Whew, try to take my Doritos? So I stole this $150,000 Lamborghini and now I'm driving 200 miles per hour down the road. I think I hit like five people, but who cares? <laughs> you only live once. <gasps> Someone set my school on fire? I wonder who did it. I mean, it definitely wasn't me. <laughs> I would never commit arson. <laughs> Guess who just broke into a bank and is about to steal $2.7 billion? Ah, it's me! Jeff Bezos could never. <laughs> Yes! Let's party! Where am I? What in the trailer park trash is this place? This van looks like it's getting renovated by Pennywise the Clown. You said there was candy. Where is the candy? There is none. Okay, well do you have free Wi-Fi? No, you are getting kidnapped. That is so boring. Please let me go. I was just looking for my Amazon package. I thought it was in this van, but I was wrong. Hey, Mr. Psychopath, sir, can we please pull through McDonald's? I am starving. Are you really not scared? No, this is like the fourth time this has happened to me. Wait, really? Yeah, I have really bad luck. A few moments later. Ooh, I cannot see a thing. Someone find the light switch. Ooh, this is nice. Forget when I said, ooh, take me home. I'll stay here. Y'all, it is so cold in here. It's like the perfect temperature for a nap. I mean, I would lay down, but it looks like there's 17 different diseases on this floor. Have you ever heard of a mop? This place is literally so moldy. I mean, if the kidnapper doesn't kill me, the lung cancer that I'm gonna get definitely will. Hi, is this Papa John's? It sure is. Great, I would like to place an order for a cheese pizza too. Hey, um, what's the address? Uh, Winster Road. Okay, a uh, cheese pizza to Winster Road. Is that it? It sure is. Wait, do you want anything? No. Okay, yep, yeah, that's all. On the bottom, we have Gemini. Gemini, you are the sign of indecisiveness, and sometimes that even means that you can't decide if you want to be nice or mean. Number five, we have Aquarius. Aquarius is very intelligent and with that being very intellectual. So they listen and listen to all your secrets. But if you ever cross them, they will spew all those secrets right back out. Number four, we have Capricorn. Even though they are an earth sign, they are extremely fiery and you should never cross them because they can hold a grudge, okay? Number three, we have Virgo. Virgo is literally the sign of bluntness and brutal honesty. Do not ever cross them. But you can't ever claim that a Virgo is fake because they will tell you how they feel exactly when they feel it. Number two, we have ooh, Scorpio. Now, Scorpio is probably the meanest sign and should be number one. But it's number two because they do have a very close group of friends that they will protect no matter what. But outside of that circle, is fair game. But number one, we have... Aries. Aries doesn't care if you're their best friend or public enemy number one. They are coming for you and clocking you any way they can. Oh my goodness, what gift did I get? You didn't get a gift. You're disappointing. <gasps> Why would you do Look, that? If I can't get a gift, no one can have a gift. Do you understand? <laughs> That's so disrespectful. What? That's not fair. So basically, I make the flowers grow. <gasps> How did this get here? I just made it. Yes. Oh my goodness, you're like so perfect. Oh, thank you. Stop, you're too nice. <laughs> 
okay, so mom, you know how you can like heal people? How about we try to heal Mrs. Abuela? Because she clearly has like something going on in there. She's a little bit psychotic. I don't know if that's how your powers work, but how about we try healing her, you know? Because something's wrong. I know the whole family did not just take a picture without me. Like, just because I don't have a gift? What? Y'all are all on my hit list. But yeah, I'm just gonna jump off the balcony. Oh my goodness, what? Who said that? And you? We have beef. Uh, look, I may not have magic, but I have this thing called a lighter, and let's see how flammable that hair of yours is. Ah! <laughs> Antonio, don't look. What are you doing? I'm erasing your name and writing my name on it. I have to do this Wait, for me, no. Antonio. Look, it's my second chance. Please, please. I'm breaking up with you. Okay, so get out of my house. Wait, but I don't have anywhere to go. That's not my problem. I own this house. I pay the bills. I do everything. But then I'll be homeless. Okay, well, I guess the street is your new home. I'm breaking up with you. In a swimming pool? Yeah. Okay, then let's play a little game called Who Can Hold Their Breath The Longest? You go first. I think we should break up. Are you seriously doing this in public? Uh, yeah. Okay, I need everyone's attention. Everyone listen up. This person standing in front of me is a roach. <gasps> they are a rat and oh, the no. breath stinks. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah, ew. terrible. Smells, <sighs> mm -mm. smells terrible. I'm breaking up with you. I am literally driving a car, and you're gonna break up with me? Sorry. You know what? Get out of the car. You can walk home. But I live 15 hours away from okay, here. Okay, well, walking sounds like fun. Let's get to it. I'm breaking up with you. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm breaking up with you. Okay, so I'm going to give you a five minute head start, but then after those five minutes are up, <laughs> I'm coming for you. I'm breaking up with you. In the middle of a Walmart? Is it because I'm not pretty enough? Wait, don't answer that because no one is prettier than me. I guess you're just blind. I mean, you literally are built like a potato. I just have to ask you one thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you proposing to me? Will you marry me? No, no, no. I am not marrying you. Wait, why? I bought you a whole house. The only reason I dated you in the first place is because you're rich. I'm not about to marry someone that looks like Elmo off of Sesame Street. Do we need lettuce or tomatoes? Will you marry me and make me the happiest You are not proposing to me in the middle of a Walmart. Plus, that ring that you have in your hand looks like you got it out of the McDonald's kids meal. Wait, is that a yes or a no? It is a no for me. We should get a TJ Will you marry me? Are you proposing to me in public? I sure am. You better get up off this floor. Everyone is looking at us. So you don't like the attention? No, this is embarrassing. We should watch a movie. Actually, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, okay, go ahead. Will you marry me? No, no, I'm good. Wait, why? Do you really want to know? Yes. Okay, your breath stinks. Your hair smells like almond oil. You don't cut your toenails. One hour later. You don't have a job. You can't even drive. You don't even look good. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm just gonna go, okay? Oh, okay, bye. Fine, I'll just watch the movie by myself. Y'all, the house is on fire. What happened? I left a Pop-Tart in the microwave with the wrapper still on it. You did that on purpose. Shh, don't tell anyone. The house is on fire? Okay, let me get my homework out. I'm gonna set it right on top of the fire. No more homework for me. Get up. What? The house is on fire. What? The house is on fire. Oh my goodness, the house is on fire. I just said that. Okay, everyone, what's the first thing that you do in a fire? I don't know, what? You have to stop, drop, and roll. Uh, y'all, I think they just passed out. I heard someone called for a fire truck. I can't get out. Someone help me. Just jump. I am not jumping. Did you grab all of your belongings? Mm-hmm. I grabbed my money. Um, I grabbed some food, some clothes. <gasps> my kids! Do y'all think insurance will cover this? No? Okay. My house looks like a toasted marshmallow. Time to marry a millionaire. Um, Miss Teacher, can I please go to the bathroom? I know we're taking a test. Are you gonna cheat? <laughs> what? No, definitely not. A few moments later. Siri, just tell me the answer to number four, please. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <gasps> I thought you were supposed to be smart. What did you get on the test? I got a 94. I thought you didn't know anything. Oh, I didn't know a thing, but the boy sitting next to me did, so I was like... Uh, are you serious? Oh my gosh, y'all. This test is like super easy. Literally nobody asked. Just let your jealousy keep shining through. I love the light. <laughs> yes. I am not prepared for this test, so I guess I'm just gonna have to hide. Could you please take the wig off? Oh, no, I'm, I'm a British exchange student from the UK. Okay? No, you literally are in this no, class. No, yes, no. Yes, no. Not at all, yeah. no. Yeah. I stayed up all night studying for this test. Let's get started. Okay, question one. What would you do if when you okay, so he said yes would go? What would you do if when you're okay, so he said yes, we go? I'm gonna fail this. Um, Mr. Teacher, none of this stuff on the test was on the study guide. Just figure it out. Oh 
Um, Timothy. What? Do you know the answer? Yes, but what's in it for me? Okay, how about this? I'll give you this if you give me the answer. <gasps> how much money is that? 30 bucks, but it looks like a lot. Oh my goodness, this place is so nice. I mean, you're not broke or anything, are you? <gasps> Could I just move in? I think it's time for some snacks. Let's play a game. No, I am starving. No, let's play a game. Okay, you wanna play a game so bad? Let's play point me to where the snacks are. You go first. Thank you so much for inviting me. I've had so much fun. Wait, why are you leaving? It's only six o'clock. You are delusional if you think I am not gonna be sleeping in my own bed. But please, bye y'all. Wake up. Wake up! What? You are literally asleep and it's 6 o'clock. I am tired, let me be! One hour later. I am so bored. Let's play truth or dare. Ooh, I choose dare. I dare you to climb out this window and jump. But I could die! Yeah, that's what makes it fun. What are you doing? We're having a dance party, of course! Come on, join in! Who are you calling? Shh, I'm about to prank call Pizza Hut. This is Pizza Hut, how can I help you? Yes, I would like to place an order for a hundred pizzas. Can you pay for that? Definitely, I'm like a millionaire. <laughs> it is 4 a.m., why are you awake? I am not about to let any of y'all heathens draw on my face when I fall asleep. No one is gonna do that. You literally have a picture of SpongeBob SquarePants on your forehead, so... A tsunami! Wait, really? Yes! We should go swim in it! Are you crazy? We could die! No! Swimming in the tsunami is just like regular swimming, but with a little bit of spice. Everyone, get in the car. We have got to go. We won't be fast enough. Please, I drive like a NASCAR driver. That tsunami will never catch us. Why couldn't we have moved somewhere like Nebraska, or Georgia, or North Dakota? But no, we just had to move to California where there's wildfires and tsunamis. Come on, we have to go. I am not leaving. We literally just got here and I haven't even gotten my tan yet. We have to go or else we will all die. No, my tan is worth it. And if that tsunami wants to come for me, let it come for me. A few moments later. Oh my goodness, what happened? Does that sign say Japan? I'm from California. Did I really get carried across the Pacific Ocean? Look at this. There is a whole boat on top of my house. Like, how does that even happen? The whole town is gone. Wait, is that a Walmart over there? How is Walmart still open? Look, I hate to make this all about myself, but can someone get their butt in a boat and come out here and pick me up? Because I am not about to swim in this nasty ocean. A tornado's coming! Is that what that siren means? Yeah, what did you think it meant? I thought it was like the end of the world and like the ground was gonna split open and then lava. No, 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 no. It's just a tornado. Man, I'm really bummed. Like, that is really disappointing. Y'all, I'm trying to run away from this tornado, but like, I hate running, you know? Ah! Kids, there's not enough room in our car to fit my clothes and y'all. I'm sorry, you'll have to leave your clothes at home. Wait, I'm not leaving my clothes at home. I'm leaving y'all at home. Here, what? Here's the basement key. What? Stay in the basement till I get back. And I'm not coming what? back till this tornado is gone, so stay safe. Why are you listening to that song in the middle of a tornado? Um, would you like for me to play Holly Jolly Christmas instead? No, I want you to get in the basement. I'm not getting in the basement. Tornadoes do not happen a lot. I really want to embrace the moment, you know? We have to go to the roof in the tornado, right? No, we're absolutely... Wait, you know what? You go to the roof, okay? Natural selection. I'll go to the basement, you go to the roof, okay? We'll see who survives. <laughs> Is anyone else kind of curious on what's inside of a tornado? No, because you'll die. Okay, but I think it's worth the risk, you know? Let's just no, go. No, I, I have to disagree. <sighs> Bye, I'll see you on the other side. If we all work together, we can escape the prison. Who's with me? <laughs> yes! I think I just started a prison riot. Wait, this is my room? Yes. There's not like a luxury room or something? No, we do not do that. This place is terrible. Like, I can't even have my phone to update my Instagram status to prisoner. Like, what? Y'all, the prison life is just not for me. So that's why I'm in the sewers escaping. Like, someone literally clogged the toilet on day one. Like, I just can't deal with that. Y'all, this prison food actually looks pretty good. So why don't we just try it out? <laughs> oh my goodness. Blech. Excuse me, I have an announcement to make. Whichever one of y'all took my blanket, <laughs> y'all got 10 minutes to give it back or we're rumbling in the hallway. Um, excuse me, this is not gonna be enough food for me. Yes, it will. You literally only gave me one sandwich for the whole day. I don't care, you're a criminal. Okay, well, I'm a hungry criminal. 
I cannot wait for this. Like, I am so ready. Green light. Oh, okay. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Oh. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Uh, okay. Green light. Why is she going so fast? Like, this girl is praying for my downfall. Y'all, I don't know which symbol to choose. Like, I want to choose the star because I'm a star. But I also want to choose the umbrella because Rihanna. So basically, I chose the umbrella, but that was not the way to go because this is hard. Y'all, I do not even feel like playing tug of war right now. Like, I am literally just trying to find some cell service so I can update my Instagram status to fighting for my life. So, basically, you're saying that we have to play a game, and the winner gets all of the marbles? Yeah, what game do you want to play? Okay, let's see who can count to ten the fastest. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I won! <laughs> now give me your marbles. Um, I definitely would not consider myself a lucky person, but, I mean, I'm ready to test this luck today, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness, I'm almost done. I don't want to play Squid Game because I don't want to have to hurt anyone, you know? The game will begin in three, two, uh -uh, one. you are not getting that money. Come here, try me. That's what I thought. Scary movies don't even scare me. Boo! Ah! You know, if all of y'all want to see something really scary, why don't we just look at you? That is so hurtful. Truth hurts. You know what? I do not blame that murderer for one second because if I got that mad, <laughs> I'd go on a killing spree too. Oh, okay. Just saying. Oh my goodness, y'all. I think the murderer is about to kiss that girl. Do you mean kill that girl? No, I think he's about to kiss her. This is not a romance. Trust me, any movie can be made a romance real quick, okay? I am so sorry for falling asleep. How do you even fall asleep in the middle of a scary movie? Trust me, my high school is more scary than this. <laughs> All I'm saying, y'all, is if a ghost wanted to contact me, let them contact me. I mean, I need a friend. I can name them Casper. I mean, what if it's a cute ghost, you know? <laughs> There's a tornado coming? Yeah, we gotta get in the basement. No, I am not going in there. But you'll die. There are ghosts in there. Um, you would be seeing a ghost either way. No, I don't play with ghosts. Mm-mm. Oh my goodness, what do we do? We could get in our car and drive away. We won't be fast enough. Please, I drive like Lightning McQueen. That tornado ain't gonna catch us. Oh. Y'all, I kind of want to go inside of the tornado. But you would die. Okay. Okay. Not knowing if you survive or not is what makes it fun. Why are you on the roof of the building? I needed to film the tornado. You're gonna get sucked away. People pay good money for videos of tornadoes. You would be surprised. Does anyone know where the tornado actually is? It just hit the high school. Wait, my high school? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I am a tornado supporter. Yeah, what? tornado, go tornado. Yes, no oh more school goodness. for me. Come on, we have to go. The tornado's coming. I think you forgot something. No, I left the fridge open. Uh, no, not that. Uh, I forgot to get the kids. You have to oh, jump. Oh no, I am not jumping. But you'll die. Well, I guess I'm gonna die. Why did the house have to catch on fire? Like, I don't feel like doing this today. Can I just go back to sleep? I have a question. Yeah? Is it considered murder if I chose not to wake the other people up inside the house? Are you saying there's people inside the house? Uh, yeah. Why didn't you wake them up? I don't like them. Which one of y'all set the kitchen on fire? Hmm? Because I want my strawberry flavor pop tart, but I can't have it because our microwave is on fire. Hey, can I get everyone to smile real quick? Yeah, you Mr. Firefighter. Could you smile? Uh, sure. Oh my goodness, this is totally going on my Instagram. Oh my goodness, someone set my ex's house on fire. Do you know who did it? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it definitely wasn't me. <laughs> okay, so I got the bag of french fries ready to go. I told you, don't spill the french fries. I'm so sorry. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. What can I get for you today? I would like the chicken nugget meal. Okay, how many nuggets? Um, eight. No, ten. Actually, eight. No, but ten. Which one is it? Just pick one. I don't know. It's so hard to choose. It's really not that hard. It's literally a two-nugget difference. Just pick one and stick with it. All right, your total is $9.50. Could I have your debit card? Oh, sure. Here. Um, it says it's declined. Do you have another one? Oh, yes. Uh, here. Okay. Um... This one is declined, too. Do you have another one? Yes, but this is my last one. Okay. Oh, it's declined as well. Okay, so since you can't even afford some McDonald's, I suggest that you and your 2009 Honda take a little drive over to Wendy's next door. Maybe you could afford them instead. So basically, there's this employee back there. Her name's Katie. And she was talking about me behind my back. And I was like, Katie, don't do that. You don't want to try me. And Gemini, Leo. Yes. You better not be gossiping with the customers. <sighs> Alright, I'll talk to you later, okay? Um, what are you eating? Oh, um, a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Wait, why? Because the food here is terrible. Why don't you just go work at Chick-fil-A instead? I tried, but they wouldn't accept me, so then I had to work here. 
at McDonald's. Good job cleaning up. You did so good. Oh, thank you so much. I just hate when things get dirty. Oh my goodness, me too. Do you really? Yeah, why? Because you have a huge stain on your shirt and it's not really giving. Is that Zendaya? Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm about to pass out. Woo, woo, my heart's, my heart's really beating. Woo, I think I need a five minute break. Just need a five minute, five minute break. Oh my goodness, Tom Holland, could you sign my book? Sure. Could you sign my poster? Sure. How about my shirt? Oh, okay. What about my face? Oh, um, you know what? Hello, Jennifer Lopez. Hey, how are you? You look so amazing. Oh, thank you. Well, I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Oh my goodness, why didn't I say anything? Oh my goodness, could we take a picture? Of course. I am definitely gonna post this on Instagram, and my friends are gonna be so upset, but, but they can stay jealous. <laughs> I am so happy to finally meet you. Like, you are so amazing. You are oh, so thank kind. You. you are so talented. You are thank so funny. You. you are just so extraordinary. <laughs> thank and I'm you. Just, oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, this is a lot. Jennifer Lawrence, when you were in the Hunger Games and you shot that arrow, it was so inspirational. I just want you to know that. Will you marry me? Oh my goodness, yes. I am so glad that you asked because if you weren't going to propose to me tonight, I was going to break up with you. Wait, what? Will you marry <gasps> me? Yes. Wait. No. Actually, yeah. But Which one is it? Yes or no? Oh, um, yes. <laughs> hey, hey, shh. I'm trying to watch the movie. I have to ask you something. What is it? Will you marry me? Yes, of course. Now pay attention to the movie. This is the best part. Can I ask you something? Yes. Will you marry me? <laughs> of course. Hey, everyone, listen up. I'm getting married. Yay! <laughs> I had something to ask you. Yeah, sure, what is it? Will you marry me? Of course I will! But just know, I'm sleeping on the left side of the bed. We are having two kids and two kids only. We will be living in a brick house one hour later. And then when we're both 75, we'll retire and then move into a lavish nursing home. Did you get all that? I think so. Good. Will you marry me? Yes, yes, a hundred times yes. Wait, did you film this? No, I didn't. Oh my gosh. Hey, can you come over here and film this? I want to get it on camera. Can you just say it one more time? So as soon as the Hunger Games begin, I see a box of Pop-Tarts sitting next to a tree. So of course I have to go for them, but then I see Aries running to them too. So I fight them for it and I guess I lost. But was it worth it? Yeah. This place is so pretty. <gasps> Scorpio, did you just stab me? Yep. The violence. Y'all, it is so hot. I think it's time to get in this lake. Oh my goodness, it feels so good. Is that an alligator? Virgo, you think you can kill me? Let's fight. Come on, let's fight. Blech. Did you just stab me? You said you wanted to fight. I was kidding. Scorpio, instead of killing me, why don't we form an alliance? Yeah, sure. Really? No, now you better <laughs> run. <laughs> I was peacefully walking through the woods and then some random bear started running at me and I was like, you want to fight? Then let's fight. I ended up losing the fight, but... So I was walking through the woods with Gemini and I turned around for one second and then Gemini stabs me in the back. Like, I guess they really do have two faces. I mean, it's fan behavior if you ask me. So I found these berries in the woods and I'm like 99% sure that they're poisonous, but there's always that 1%. And I'm really hungry, so let's try it. Oh, I can already feel my throat. You know, it's getting smaller. It's getting smaller. <coughs> <coughs> oh my goodness, is that a snake? Oh, come here, little thing. You know, some people say that I act like a snake sometimes. Mm -hmm. Did you just bite me? You're venomous. Oh my goodness. Aquarius, did you just shoot me with your bow and arrow? That's what you get for being two-faced. Having one face is just so boring. You know I'm going to come back from the dead and haunt you. So I was literally about to win, and then I stood next to this cliff, and then Virgo pushed me off. Like, what? What? So what made you want to push Aquarius off of the cliff? Um, you gotta do what you gotta do. Now, someone had mentioned to me previously that I get money for winning this, so where's that at? Are y'all really shooting smoke down in the middle of a party? Y'all better hope and pray that nobody in here has asthma. And I just cannot wait to... Oh my goodness, y'all, I think I just walked into the wrong party because everyone in here is playing bingo. You want to join? No, no, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> the white, what's the word? Front yard, giant dry past the places we used to go to. Why are you singing karaoke like that? That's what makes it fun. 
All of this partying is making me hungry. You just can't leave the party. Um, there's gonna be a party in my stomach once I find my way to that kitchen. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? I'm dancing, silly. <laughs> you look like a newborn baby giraffe that's walking for the first time. <laughs> this party is more dead than Carol Baskin's husband. Who invited you? Um, I invited myself. You should probably go. You really want me gone? I'm the reason why this party is alive. Could you please wake up? You are sleeping on the party table. Look, I am so sorry, but we have been partying all day. I mean, I, I don't have the energy for this. Y'all, the house is on fire. Oh my goodness, wait, did you start the fire? Why do you think that I would start it? There's a whole bucket of gasoline and a pack of matches right well, next I to mean, you. <laughs> that's so, that's so funny. <laughs> it definitely wasn't me. <laughs> Wake up. No, let me be. The house is on fire. The house is on fire? Yes. But I don't want to get up. Come on, we have to go. No, my lasagna is still in the oven. The oven is on fire. Okay, well, that just means it'll take less time to cook. Come on, we have to go. I am not leaving without my lasagna. I think the house is on fire. Is it really? No, I thought it was flooding in here. What do we do? I don't know. Do I look like a fire truck? The firefighters are here. You have to jump. I am not jumping off of this building. It's the only way. Well, I guess just tell my family I love them because I am staying right here. Y'all think insurance will cover this, right? The whole neighborhood is on fire, so no. <laughs> oh, wow. Is everyone out of your house? No, my son is still in there using the bathroom. The house is literally on fire. I told him that, but he said it was an emergency. My house looks like a marshmallow that was dropped into the fire. I mean, is anyone around here a millionaire? Because I'm looking to get married. This is your captain speaking. The plane is going down. Remain calm. The plane's going down? No, this can't be happening. I don't even have the right to vote yet. <laughs> hey, is anyone's name Jack? Because my name is Rose and I would absolutely love to have a Titanic airplane edition. Oh my gosh, just what we need in the middle of a plane crash is your baby crying, Brenda. Tell your baby to be quiet. I can't even make one phone call up here because I have no cell phone service. I wish I had the secret service. The secret service is the president's bodyguard. Oh, I thought it was like a really exclusive cell phone service. <laughs> the plane, the plane is going down. Where am I? I lost my shoe. You're really concerned about a shoe? Yes, it was a $500 shoe. I'm no expert in geography, but guys, I don't think this is Alaska. Y'all, I think I'm gonna go. What are you talking about? Well, I've just accepted that I'm probably not gonna survive this. So I'm just gonna go sit in the cave over there and stare at the wall. Okay, y'all, let's split up and search for clues. Let's look for Wait, water. Wait, did you just say split up and search for clues? Yeah. This isn't Scooby-Doo. Well... I don't know what to do. What is that terrible sound? That was the sound of success. Something that you've probably never heard of before. Okay, so Disney may make some good movies, but the same cannot be said for their trash TV shows. Here in the TV world, I'm the king and everyone bows down to me. Excuse me, I don't bow down to anyone and I never come in second place. You throw slime on celebs. I make the celebs. Your TV shows make celebs? <laughs> no. The only thing that your TV shows make is your audience want to switch the channel to me. You know what? What is that? Oh my goodness. Not your annoying George Lopez song coming on again. You're just mad that I have Spongebob and you have Girl Meets World. Please, you always end up canceling all of your shows because they're trash. <clears throat> Victorious. You want to see some real trash? Why don't we go watch an episode of Hannah Montana? I mean, Miley Cyrus said it herself that that was her biggest regret in life. Miley? What? I'm sorry. I just needed the money. I fell asleep before the games even began, and I got blown up. I went into a cave looking for the seven dwarves, but there were seven bears in there, and they all attacked me. I was trying to run away from Mulan, but I didn't run fast enough because my shoe fell off. I know you're in there. Come on, let's go and play. <coughs> Merida, did you just shoot me with your bow and arrow? Ariel smothered me with my own magic carpet. Elsa grabbed me by my hair and threw me off of a cliff. Someone could have told me that the frogs around here were poisonous before I decided to kiss it. Okay, well, I lost the fight to Moana over who was the best princess of the ocean.
Elsa killed me because I killed Anna. But maybe she should learn to let it go, just like how she did her parents. Mulan, with her crazy self, jumped down from a tree and stabbed me. I was trying to paint with the colors of the wind when Moana just smacked me in the back of the head with one of her boat paddles. Elsa literally just froze my heart. I didn't even know you could freeze a heart. I mean, do I need to put it on defrost or something? Moana literally kicked me in the throat. I mean, who does that? Hi, I would like to accept this award on behalf of Ariel, who sadly couldn't be here tonight because the ocean chose me, and all she chose was to be irrelevant. I was told that the Hunger Games was a talent show, but when I started singing, someone stabbed me in the back. I tried to climb up a tree, but I fell and got impaled by a stick. I lost a fight to Persephone over a box of Kool-Aid. I sniffed poisonous flowers. What? They just smelled so good. I fell into a fire and died, which is a coincidence because I'm the god of fire. Hera tied me to a tree and stabbed me for each time I cheated on her, which was a lot. Hades literally cheated because he got one of his little skeleton guys to take me to the underworld. I got killed by Ares because I looked at Aphrodite. I wanted a bear as a pet, but the bear ate me. I was hiding in the cornucopia and the Poseidon found me and killed me. He is such a roach. Aphrodite sprayed this really strong perfume on me and I just simply choked. Athena pushed me off of a cliff. Hades got his little dog Cerberus to kill me. I was in a fight with Hades, and then all of a sudden he turned invisible, and the next thing I know, I was sliced open. I mean, that's gotta be illegal, right? I'm literally the king of the underworld. What did you expect? YouTube, when will you finally realize that you were just old news? I mean, everyone has moved on to me. How could you possibly say that you're better than me when I pay my creators thousands of dollars a year, and you pay yours, uh, pennies? Look, I used to be your biggest fan when I was eight. I mean, no one wants to watch you anymore since half of your creators are either canceled or too old to post. I think you're forgetting that I am literally America's favorite social media. Meanwhile, you almost got banned by America. Well, I think you're forgetting that everyone watching this video right now is watching it on TikTok. Please, somewhere in the next five years when you finally die, just like Vine, all of your fans will be coming back to, uh, me. Look, I would die, but that would be almost as tragic as one of your YouTube rewinds, so I think I'll stay. You could never compare to my streamies or my YouTube rewinds. A literal trash can is better than one of your YouTube rewinds. Yeah, you heard them. I should really change my name to South Best because I'm obviously the best around. How could you possibly say that you're the best when I'm right here? Please, I literally carry the airline business. Well, since you apparently carry the airline business, why don't you carry yourself away from me because I've had enough of you. United. The only thing that you unite is your seats. I mean, there is no room between them. Spirit, I got you a little gift. Hey. Um, what is that? It's rolls of duct tape to keep your plane held together. Mm, maybe you should save some for yourself, Delta. All of y'all are literally trash. Next. There's no laws? Virgo, Aries, come over. We're gonna have a party. Today's not the day. I'm too pretty to die. Ooh, let me find my hit list. I have been ready for this. Somebody go get my keys because I'm about to go on the shopping spree through the whole town. I've just had so much built up anger and now the world can be my stress ball. Did you guys just hear that? No, I have to go into my bunker. I can see someone on my front porch through my ring doorbell, and, um, should I let them in? Sorry, I was asleep when they were announcing the purge. Could someone explain to me what the purge is? I took a self-defense class in Taekwondo, so I should be good, right? I'm going to the bank, because after this purge, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be loaded. I stole a Lamborghini from the car dealership, and I'm driving it around town. I'm sorry, am I supposed to be bothered that the purge has started? I mean, I'm just gonna sit in my living room, and if they want to come for me, they can come for me. I mean, I'd love- No one out pizzas the hut, especially you and your busted crackhead ugly built self. The only thing your pizza is going out in is the dumpster out back behind my restaurant. Um, you must have gotten your pizzas confused, because my pizza tastes delectable, 10 out of 10, stunning, and yours tastes like fried brat pea. I'm sorry, were you talking to me? I'm just having trouble focusing with that big red ugly hat in your head. 
Yeah, I call it my red crown because I'm kind of the king of the pizza business. How can you possibly sit there and call yourself the king of pizza when your pizza slices look like they were cut by a four-year-old who was given a knife? So you're really gonna call me out for uneven pizza slices when you have given over a thousand people food poisoning? I told Little Caesars not to tell anyone. What? Don't look at me like that. He offered me money. What was I supposed to do? Today, we're ranking the zodiac signs from most common to most rare. The most common zodiac sign and its 12th place is Cancer. Following Cancer, we have Virgo. And in 10th, we have Leo. And in 9th, we have Gemini. There's a lot of Geminis running around here. In 8th, we have Libra. Slay Libra. And in 7th place of the zodiac is Taurus. Scorpio is 6th, so we're getting a little bit more rare, more rare. In fifth, we have Pisces. We're kind of getting pretty rare now. In fourth, we have Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. I would not have guessed this one, but three is Aquarius. I thought there was like a ton of Aquariuses out there. In two, we have Aries. This is very surprising to me because I swear I could just look anywhere and find the Aries. And number one, out of all the zodiac signs, the most rare is Capricorn. I'm so surprised by this, like, I cannot even believe this. This is what district you would be in in the Hunger Games based off of your zodiac sign. District 1, the district of luxury goods. That's gonna have to go to Leo. I mean, Leo is obsessed with luxury and they think they're all that, so, duh. District 2, the district of masonry and weapons. That's gonna, of course, have to be Aries. Like, who else would want some weapons? District 3, the district of intelligence and technology. I'm gonna have to give that to Aquarius. Aquarius can be very cunning. District 4, the district of fishing. A very powerful district, but I'm gonna have to give this to Pisces, which is literally the sign of the fish. District 5, the district of energy and power. I'm gonna have to give this to Scorpio, because what's one thing Scorpio's obsessed with? power. District 6, the district of transportation, I'm gonna have to give this to Gemini. I mean, transportation literally roots all of the districts together, and what is Gemini? A friend to all. District 7, the district of lumber, this is gonna be Sagittarius. I mean, District 7 was one of the most rebellious districts in the rebellion, so who's one of the most rebellious signs? Sagittarius. District 8, the district of textiles, is gonna have to be Libra. They love putting together some really fun outfits, so slay on their part. District 9, the district of wheat, I'm gonna have to give that to Virgo. I mean, their symbol is literally a maiden holding a stalk of wheat. Could you be any clearer? District 10 is gonna be Taurus, which is the district of livestock. Um, uh, they are amazing with animals and they do have a very nurturing and motherly side to them. District 11, the district of agriculture is gonna have to go to Cancer. I mean, Cancer can be very sympathetic and I feel like they do have a really good green thumb when they really try for it. For District 12, the District of Coal Mining, I'm gonna have to give that to Capricorn. Capricorn is referenced as the forgotten sign a lot of times, and District 12 is just the forgotten district, what can I say? But, keep in mind, who was the main character for literally every Hunger Games film? <clears throat> district 12. And since y'all wanna talk about a new Zodiac sign, Ophia Kiss, I guess we'll have that as District 13, cause she's not really there for real. Hey guys, welcome back to the 5th annual Zodiac Hunger Games, who will take home the crown, not Scorpio. Scorpio tried running away before the games even started, and let's just say that didn't work out. Next we have Taurus. Taurus was really confident going into this. Maybe a little too confident. Oh, Leo. Leo has come in 10th after making one too many enemies before the game started. Now we have Cancer. Cancer came 9th because they found this really cute bear in the woods, but let's just say the bear didn't find them too cute. Next we have Pisces. Pisces died after losing in a one-on-one -on -one fight with Aries. Mm -hmm. Next we have Aries. After Aries, Pisces, they quickly got by Virgo. Aquarius tried hiding in a tree, but then they fell from the tree and Virgo. Virgo was literally doing so good until the capital dropped this big bucket of snakes on them. Gemini. Gemini uses their words to outmaneuver a lot of stuff, but let's just say they couldn't outmaneuver this. Capricorn. It's down to the final two between Libra and Sagittarius, who lost. Libra. Libra came second, but that does mean that our winner of the fifth annual Hunger Games is Sagittarius. Congrats! Welcome to the third annual Zodiac Hunger Games. May the odds be ever in your favor. Sagittarius got jumped as soon as the game started. This next sign was fighting over a Pop-Tart with another tribute and lost. <laughs> this sign ate some delectable berries that happened to be poisoned. Aquarius! This next sign was running away from another Zodiac and stepped on a bomb. R.I.P. This sign started a fire because they were hashtag cold, but then got thrown into that fire. Libra! 
This sign got stabbed in the back by their best Zodiac friend. Leo! This sign got into a fight with like a random lion and got mauled. Aries! This sign tried to set everybody else on fire but instead set themselves on fire. Virgo! Oh my god. This next sign literally ate poison ivy. Pisces! They tried to eat sandpaper to like scratch their insides but it just didn't work out. This sign touched the edge of the arena and got electrocuted. Scorpio! We are down to the final fight between Gemini and Capricorn. Who lost? Gemini! Oh my goodness! Which means our winner of the third annual Hunger Games is... Capricorn, take your crown, queen. Clap if you're feeling pretty hungry. Yes. Are you not scared of getting kidnapped? Look, ki getting kidnapped is something that happened in the past. Right now, I'm feeling very much hungry. So can we go to McDonald's or not? No, absolutely not. Uh, rude. Uh, yes. Is this 911? Are you talking to someone back there? No one. Pay attention to the road. Just, just keep driving. Yes, it's in a white van. Are you talking to the police? Hey, this is none of your business. This phone call is not your business. Okay, turn around but, and pay attention to the road. Hey, Let's not die right now, okay? Yeah, look, yeah. Pay attention to the road, yeah. Where did you get that water from? Um, that fridge over there. Why would you touch my fridge? Um, I was thirsty and I saw a fridge. One plus one equals two. I'm not thirsty anymore. You were not supposed to go in look, there. it's literally a Dasani water bottle. Take a chill pill. You need to build a bridge and get a... Y'all, I stole my kidnapper's phone and I just wanted to record a message in case I die. I have a few confessions. Veronica, I have never liked your haircut. Please get a new haircut. It's ugly. Eric, you sound like a squirrel. It hurts my ears to listen to you. And Trixie, you Who are you talking to? She's coming. Let's play a game. I spy with my little eye something trashy. Your attitude. Uh, no, this basement. It is so disgusting, rotten, foul. You need to fix it. I'm, I'm, mm -mm, I'm That's bad on your part. Please let me go. I'll literally do anything. Name it and I will do it. Give me a million dollars. Uh-uh. You picked the wrong person for that. I don't have that type of money. I'm literally like broke. I can point you to someone who is rich, but you got the wrong person. It ain't me. It's not me. It is not me. On the bottom, we have... Taurus. Now, I know a lot of y'all may be surprised to see Taurus on this list, seeing as they're, like, so stubborn. But the truth is that, the, is that they are extremely loyal and protective to their friends, and that counts as nice for me. And fifth, we have Leo. Now, Leo does have a main character complex, and, you know, it's, it's out there. But they definitely do care for their friends no matter what and will protect them always. And fourth, we have Sagittarius. Sagittarius is often referred to as one of the happiest zodiac signs because they have a very bubbly personality and are very warming and welcoming to other people. And third, we have Cancer. Yes, Cancer can be a little bit moody at times, but they are also extremely in touch with their own emotions, which can help them connect with almost anybody. And they also get really deep with people. Um, and second, we have Pisces. Pisces is the only zodiac that doesn't have a set list of attributes. Instead, Pisces molds their personality to any friend group that they're in, which means they're extremely personable and can make a friend with a brick wall. So that's very nice to me. And in number one, we have Libra. Libra is a very judgmental sign and has a lot of opinions, but it could be used in a very nice way. They are, they are one of the most talkative signs and can literally, again, talk to a brick wall. All over, Libra is a great friend to have. On the bottom, we have Virgo. Virgo, you are the sign of brutal honesty. And to be brutally honest, you love to start drama. Number five, we have oh, Sagittarius. Now, you are a fire sign, and you love when everything is about you. But sadly, not everything is about you, and you get very upset when that happens. Number four, we have Aquarius. You love being in control of others and having a set idea of what everybody's doing. But the thing is, you aren't in control of everybody and that makes you very angry sometimes. Okay. And number three, we have Leo. Leo is literally the sun personified. And like the sun, they think that everything revolves around them. But in reality, it doesn't. And they're not always the main character. And they can't handle being the side character, so they get a little toxic. All right, and number two, we have Gemini. Gemini, you are so two-faced and undecisive. If only you could decide to actually be not toxic and manipulative for once, even if you realize you're not doing it. I'm a Gemini, so I can say all this, of course. <laughs> and number one, we have Scorpio. Scorpio is drama personified. If they walk into a room and there's not arguing, they're going to take that spoon and stir, and stir, and one of the Zodiac signs got real unlucky last night and got murdered. Who was it? Gemini! Rest in peace, girlfriend. Well, 
Gemini is gone. Who found their body though? Aries! Okay, this is a little suspicious. Okay, so Aries found Gemini's body, but who is the sign that's gonna be the detective? Scorpio, I think they got this in the bag. Scorpio stayed up all night thinking about this. Who was their first suspect? Aries, who found the body, that's smart. Okay, but Scorpio's not finished. They have a second suspect in mind and it is Taurus. Whoa. So we have Aries and Taurus as our suspect, but who does Scorpio arrest? Cancer, what did Cancer do? So Cancer has been locked up behind bars, but who was the actual murderer? Sagittarius! Sagittarius and Gemini are opposite signs too. Okay, but Sagittarius was not alone. Somebody knew about it the entire time. Libra knew about it? Okay, but it is not in there. Who gets revenge for Gemini? Gemini! Gemini comes back as a ghost and haunts Sagittarius and Libra. Hello, today we are ranking the zodiac signs based off of how likely they would be to get away with murder. In the bottom, we have Capricorn, Pisces, and Cancer. I could see them having a motive or a reason to kill someone, but they would never actually do it because they would let their emotions get involved, and I could never see them lying to the police. For ninth, eighth, and seventh, I've got Taurus, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. Now, I could definitely see them killing someone, but it would be so incredibly messy that they would be able to tell who it was in, like, seconds. For fourth, fifth, and sixth, I've got Virgo, Libra, and Leo. Now, they would be able to kill someone without even needing a reason, and they would make it about, like, three days without getting caught, but then they would just accidentally let it slip because they are not good liars whatsoever. In second and third, I've got Aries and Gemini. They would be able to kill someone like this, hide the body, and get away with it as long as they could. Now, I do see a downfall, though. Gemini would run their mouth too much and tell a best friend of a friend, and they would snitch on them. And Aries would let their anger intrude and be like, I did it! Fine, I did it! You know, like, they, they, that would be crazy. And the number one is Scorpio. They can be incredibly emotional in a very good way and a very bad way. And they would be able to lie straight to your face, saying, no, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Very good at lying. It's time to find out who just got murdered at Virgo's birthday party. Scorpio, rest in peace, girl. Poor Scorpio has rest and peace did. But who found her body? Aries. Okay, Aries found the body, but who's gonna be the detective and crack the case? Cancer! Okay, I think they can do this. Okay, so Cancer has that intuition, okay? But who's their first suspect? Leo. They, they are a little bit shady. But Cancer didn't stop there. Who is our second suspect? Aries who found the body, oh my god. We've got Leo and Aries as the suspect, but who actually gets arrested? Pisces, what did they do? So Pisces was randomly arrested, but who actually murdered Scorpio? Pisces, Cancer was right. But Pisces wasn't the only one who was a little suspicious. Who knew about it the whole time? Taurus, Taurus kept that secret zipped and locked the whole time. Which zodiac sign revenges Scorpio though? Aquarius, Aquarius snuck into that prison and went BAM 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 on Pisces. Well, one of the zodiac signs was hashtag murdered. Who was it? Virgo! Rest in peace, I send my condolences. Okay now, who found Virgo's body though? Aquarius! Okay. Okay, so Aquarius found the body, but who was last seen with Virgo? Taurus, you know they're friends. Okay, those earth signs. Now, who is the detective of the case? Leo, Leo's gonna try to crack this case to figure out who <laughs> Virgo. All right, now let's find out who Leo's number one suspect is. <gasps> Cancer, they've been real quiet lately. All right, and who is Leo's second suspect? Aquarius, that's who found the body. <gasps> okay, who is Leo's third and final suspect? <gasps> Sagittarius, okay, they're always a little bit shady. All right, so now we get down to it. Which of those people got arrested? Taurus, that's who they were with last. <gasps> All right, now, who actually killed Virgo that night? <gasps> Aquarius, that's who found the body. Now, this wasn't a one-person job. What other sign was the accomplice? <gasps> Cancer, oh my gosh. Now, the final question, who was the one who snitched on Aquarius and Cancer for the death? <gasps> Libra, they are always so truthful. They always bring justice. Congratulations to you, Libra, and <laughs> RIP Virgo. Today we're doing Zodiac Signs and the Hunger Games. Which sign got killed as soon as the game started? <gasps> Taurus! Rest in peace, girl. Okay, so which Zodiac Sign lasted about mm, 10 seconds? Pisces! Oh my gosh, bye queen. Okay, which sign lasted about 5 minutes and then got like a knife in the back? Scorpio! Oh my god! 
Which sign started running towards the woods and then like literally stepped on a bomb? Aries, oh my god. Which sign was doing just fine and then somebody jumped them? Libra, oh my gosh, dang. Which sign got a little too hungry and ate some poison berries? Sagittarius, oh my gosh. Which sign trusted an ally that they probably shouldn't have and got stabbed in the back? Aquarius, oh my god. Which zodiac made it like four days and then got attacked by a bear? Leo, girl, I am so sorry for you. Which sign was sitting under a rock and then somebody sat on them and they died? Virgo. Which sign got killed and betrayed by their best friend? Cancer, so sorry, girl. This sign was so close to winning, but the other person went crazy on him. Capricorn, dang. And that means the first winner of the Zodiac Hunger Games is... Gemini! Get your crown, queen. You deserve it. Y'all already know it's time to figure out which Zodiac sign just got stabbed in the back, literally. Virgo, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Okay, so Virgo's dead, but who found the body? <gasps> Cancer! Oh my gosh! Okay, and which zodiac sign is going to be the detective? Libra said, I'm going to use my mind and crack this case. Libra's been working day and night. Who is their first suspect? Capricorn. Capricorn has been looking shady since day one. And hey, Libra doesn't stop there. Who is their second suspect? Scorpio! Scorpio has been side-eyeing Virgo for months. Okay, so we've got Capricorn and Scorpio. Who actually got arrested for it? Aquarius. Aquarius got arrested because there was so much evidence. There was blood on their hands. So Aquarius just got sent to the pound. But who actually murdered Virgo? Leo? Oh my gosh. Leo smooth talked their way right out of it. Oh my god. So who knows that Leo is the murderer and ends up confessing to everybody? Aries. Leo told Aries in confidence. And Aries was like, I'm not standing with that. And Aries served justice for Virgo. It's time to find out which zodiac sign just got murdered. Gemini! Oh my gosh! Gemini has some enemies or something. Okay, so now it's time to find out which zodiac sign found Gemini's body. Libra! Oh my god! Okay, so now it's time to find out who's gonna be the detective and crack the case. Aquarius! Okay, I think they got this in the bag. Okay, so let's see who is Aquarius's first suspect. Virgo, oh my gosh, Aquarius heard Virgo talking smack about Gemini the other day. Okay, so who is the second suspect? Who is it? Capricorn, oh my gosh, wow, wow, they've been giving side eyes to Gemini for months. Okay, so Virgo and Capricorn are the suspects, but who ends up getting arrested for the murder? Sagittarius, Sagittarius and Gemini are total opposites. Okay, so Sagittarius got arrested, but who actually murdered Gemini? Taurus! You know Taurus loves to hold a grudge. Gemini? Wow, poor Gemini. Okay, and who knew about the murder the whole time and ended up confessing about it later? Capricorn? They were one of the suspects, and they were not liking that they were. Mm-mm, they spilled the tea. Okay, it's time to find out which zodiac sign just got cheated on. Aries? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, girl. I'm so sorry, girl. But you better watch out, because Aries will literally come for you. Okay, which sign just cheated on Aries and is likely gonna die? Cancer? You better watch your back. Okay, so which zodiac sign caught Cancer cheating on Aries? Aquarius? Aquarius saw all the tea that night. Okay, so who ended up telling Aries about the cheating and spilt the tea? Sagittarius, they would. They would not let Aries suffer like that. Okay, so it's time to find out which zodiac sign did Cancer cheat on Aries with? Gemini? Girl, not Gemini trying to steal Aries as man. Okay, so which zodiac sign knew about it the entire time and didn't tell? Taurus? Oh my gosh, Taurus, why would you not tell? Okay, so Aries moved on from Cancer. So who did they upgrade with? Virgo? Virgo will treat them right. Virgo, you better treat Aries right or else you'll be next. One of the zodiac signs just got murdered. Who was it? Leo, oh my gosh! Looks like Leo has made some enemies. Now who found the body? Scorpio, this is T, this is T. Now, who has made themselves the detective? Gemini? Gemini's gonna crack this case. Mm-hmm. Now, let's see who suspect number one is. Aries, okay, okay, I can see them murdering somebody. And who's suspect number two next to Aries? Libra, okay. Now, let's see who got arrested for the murder of Mrs. Leo. Virgo? 
Okay now, Virgo got arrested, but who actually murdered Mrs. Leo? <gasps> Gemini! They were playing both sides the whole time. They were detective and the murderer. Wow. Wow. Now, let's see which zodiac sign finds out that Gemini's the real murderer. <gasps> Capricorn! Capricorn sets Virgo free because they were wrongfully put in jail and justice is served for Mrs. Leo. Yes! We would like to say rest in peace to you, Mrs. Leo. These are the zodiac signs as Disney princesses. Hello, I'm Elsa and I'm a Virgo because I am that girl. I will be brutally honest to you and I will get my way, but I'll slay while doing it, so. Hello, my name is Belle and I'm Pisces and I am so intelligent and I see the absolute best in people. But no, this does not mean I'm obsessed with hairy men. Hello, my name's Merida, and I'm an Aries. Do I have a little bit of an anger problem to the point that I turn my mom and brothers into a bear? Maybe, but I'm still an icon nonetheless, and you all love me. Like, come on. Hello, my name's Jasmine, and I'm a Leo. I mean, I'm literally in a movie about Aladdin, and I still manage to make the movie about myself. I mean, I live in a gold palace, and I have a pet tiger. Like, name somebody who's better than me. Crickets. Hey, my name's Rapunzel and I am a Gemini. You could probably tell that like I am all over the place. Like when I went missing, a whole country looked for me. And like my list of talents, my hair just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Hi, my name's Cinderella and I'm a Libra. I mean, I'm literally like the show starter. Like when you think of the Disney princesses, you think of me, you know? And I have like amazing fashion. Like that shoe was so beautiful. That man spent years looking for me amongst thousands. Like it's crazy. Hello, my name's Ariel and I'm a Scorpio. As y'all know, Scorpios are like a rooted love sign. Like we love love. I mean, I literally switched species to get with a man, so. Slay! Hey, I'm Tiana and I'm a Capricorn. As you know, Capricorns are all about hard work and dedication and I'm the only princess that runs a business, okay? I work for what I got and there you go. Hey, my name is Mulan and I'm an Aquarius because duh, when I want my way, I get it. And yeah, I'm a little bit unconventional, but guess who won the war? Me. And there you go. Hey, my name is Moana and I'm a Sagittarius. And when I have my mind set on something, oh, it's over for you. Cause I am so determined. Like I literally saved the world. Like, hi, my name's Anna and I'm a Taurus. And I do tend to fall in love really, really quickly. <laughs> but when my friends and family are in danger, I'll do everything I can to save them. Hey, I'm Snow White and I'm Cancer. I mean, I, you may be thinking, oh my gosh, Snow White, you're so bland. But think about this. When y'all all go through your breakups, who do y'all come to? Me. Because I'm the OG. I am the legend themselves. Hey, so I think we should break up. What? Are you serious? Yeah, you must have seen this coming. No, like, I definitely saw it coming. Just, just don't cry, okay? okay? I'm not crying. Oh my gosh, you're crying. I'm not crying, okay? Stop. Stop. I'm stop. Not stop. Hey, what's up? I heard you wanted to talk to me. So I think we should break up. Oh, okay. No. Everything's fine. I'll just get my car and go. Oh. Yeah, that's that's all you gotta do. Ten seconds later. Oh my gosh, who set <gasps> your house on fire? That is like oh my... totally crazy. I like have like no idea who did that. Like somebody somebody confessed right now. <laughs> that's like really embarrassing for one of us. Can I talk to you? Yeah, what's up? I think we should break up. <sighs> what would you do if I just stabbed you with this pen? What would you do if I hopped across this table and I literally just stabbed this in your Wow. This hike has been such a dream. Thank you so much for taking me up here. Hey, so I actually think we should break up, okay? <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's dead. Hey, I know. Um, so we do need to talk. And no, I just think look. we should break up. Oh, no, up. I'm breaking up with you. Yep, I was not about mm -mm, I was not about to let you oh. break up with me on this eight-hour flight. Who do you think I am? Like, let's be for real. Let's talk about something fun. Um, I think we should break up, oh. girl. You just broke up with me while I'm driving you home. You know I could just crash this thing any second, right? I could drive your- Look, all this is fun and all, but where's Nicki Minaj? I mean, I'm a Barbie, but I'm not Barbie Dreamhouse. I'm Barbie like, let's go to the beach each, let's go that way. So Wait, so like, why is this actually a bob? Like, I'm actually obsessed. 10 seconds later. I can't take it, I can't take it. Somebody get me out of here, please. Okay, so I looked around the house and I just have one question. Where's the toilet? We don't use the bathroom in Barbie world. Oh, but you see, that's actually not gonna work for me. Okay, somebody get me out of here right now because I need a toilet ASAP. I will use the poor the potty. I will use the public restroom. Just somebody get me, get me a toilet. Hello, my name is Barbie Anka and I called an emergency Barbie meeting because I have so much Barbie tea to spill. Okay, so last night I was looking out my window, right? And I saw astronaut Barbie sneaking off with Ken. But guess who Ken's married to? Teacher Barbie. <gasps> no way. I know, I know, right? 
Wait, 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 wait. If this whole place is made of plastic, did y'all not have, like, a Save the Turtles movement? No, what's a turtle? No, don't play with me, because I know there's a marine biologist Barbie somewhere. Where is she? <sighs> Barbie, I have a confession to make, okay? Promise not to get mad. When I was five, I put you in the microwave because I thought you were looking a little bit pale, and I thought the microwave would give you a tan, but it just kind of burnt you up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I don't mean to be mean, but whoever made these mashed potatoes absolutely cannot cook. Like, I personally never want to see that person touch anything food-related again. Uh, nobody told you you had to eat it. Oh, I know I don't have to eat it. It's the fact that I physically cannot eat something like that gooey or something, okay? I'm actually about to make a call to 911 because what this is, this is attempted murder. Okay, so today we're gonna go around the table and say what we're thankful for. I'll go first. <laughs> Where do I start? Any day now, Cheryl. Well, it's just I have so many things to be thankful for. How about we just choose okay, one? Okay, um, I'll just save myself. You are so conceited. Oh, how about you listen oh, here? Oh, no, you do. Hello, everyone. Oh, especially you, Aunt Rebecca. Or should I say, Emily. <gasps> you did it. Well, for anyone that doesn't know, Emily is Rebecca's online name that she uses to talk to 75-year-old rich men. <gasps> you would do it too for a check. Uh-uh. You just need to get a job, okay? Don't be lazy. Don't finesse elderly people for their money. Like, that is absolutely, like, horrible. Like, hey, everyone. Everyone meet my fiancé. Oui, oui. That's, like, your fourth fiancé this okay, year. Okay, I'm sorry that I don't want to be single for the rest of my life like you, Brenda. Ooh! Anyways, um, this is my fiancé. I think that's how you say it. Um, we know you know how to say fiancé. Well, it's just so hard for me. I mean, they're from Italy, you know? So I get my words mixed up because, you know, I'm starting to turn Italian. <laughs> Be so for Shut real. Shut up! Hey, how are y'all doing? I just came to get me some food real quick. Oh, you're not saying? Oh, no, I don't want to intrude. No, you're not intruding. No, no, I'll just see y'all at Christmas. <laughs> uh, I know. Uh, there he goes, there he goes. <laughs> and so basically, I was like, no, you don't hey. need to say that, Victoria. What are you doing here? I'm just about to feast. No, 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 you're a child. Go sit at the child's table. I'm basically 18. No, you're 17 and you'll be turning 18 tomorrow. That's still giving minor to me. Um, as if you're not 17 yourself. No, I'm mentally like a 28-year-old. You see, there's a difference. Anyways, let's get back to Victoria. Okay, go. My doctor says I need black. <laughs> what? Okay, okay. Crazy showing. You might want to tuck that. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped the sign. <laughs> In my family, we don't hide crazy. We put it on the porch <laughs> and give it a cocktail. Hashtag V4. Diamond, it's, it's backwards. Hashtag V4. Okay. Thou shalt not try. <laughs> Bless this home. This sleepover isn't complete until we get some popcorn. I'll go make some. Yes, love mm -hmm. popcorn. Literally like 10 seconds later. Oh my gosh, y'all, the kitchen's on fire! Now I know both of y'all have brains, so how about y'all put some water on it or a fire extinguisher or literally do something like, oh. You're just gonna drive away? Uh, yeah, not my house, not my kids, so it's not my problem. That is awful. I don't care. Oh. Wake mm, up, wake what? up. What? Don't wake me up unless somebody is dead or the, the house, house is on fire. The house is on fire! The house is on fire! Oh my gosh, run! This will be the perfect time to push my enemy into the fire. Pisces Capricorn, where are you? <laughs> I hope y'all know that this may be my house, but this is not going on my insurance or my debit card. Y'all are paying for this, because this is all y'all's so, fault. How so, dare you- some, Someone's missing? Someone's missing? Someone please help me! Girl, you've got to jump queen, okay? Okay, fine. I'm gonna jump in three, two, one. Ah! Girl, do we even need to have a competition? Because I feel like I've already won. Like, oh, you think you already won? How about we take one look at what app we're watching this on right now? Mm -hmm. Guys, guys, can we just like stop the fighting? I mean, it's obviously me. It's just embarrassing that y'all are still trying to compete. Right, Snapchat, like you offer so much, like sending pictures and oh wait, that's it. Um, excuse me guys, y'all are leaving me out. I'm very, very popular, you know. Yeah, you are very popular amongst 80 year olds. Dang, that was good. That was really good. Oh my gosh, y'all, can we just stop the arguing? Like it's obviously me who's winning. Like every celeb uses me for literally everything. Yes, they do use you when they're bored. Now, how about you tell me which platform all the song artists post their songs to? Me. Which um, platform do all of the YouTubers post their podcasts to? Still me! 
Listen, YouTube, you had a great run, okay? But now it's all about me, and I've been the hot thing for like the past four years, and it's not gonna end anytime soon. Wait, 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 time out. Where's Twitter? Hey y'all, I just have like this really massive headache. I'm going through like this like existential identity crisis right now. Girl, what? The CEO of Twitter is trying to change my name. <laughs> I see the light, I see the light. Oh my God, Twitter, no, don't die, don't die. Girl, the tea is getting hot today. Hello, it's X speaking. The old Twitter can't come to the phone right now. Why? Cause she's dead. Um, why am I tied to this pole? So you won't escape? Oh, so you like really want me. That's fan behavior. And I told Vanessa not to go tell Kenneth, but what did she do? She went and told Kenneth and I'm like, Vanessa, calm down. He literally looks like Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. Are you really not scared? No, now pay attention and listen to the story. I'm trapped in a basement. Um, why are we singing? If I ever escape from here and Netflix wants to make a documentary, I want it to be a musical. Look, I really have to go to the bathroom and I am not about to poop on this floor because what am I not? A dog. So is there like a bathroom somewhere I can use? Um, you can just hold it in. Hold it in? Hold it in! No, I'll give you something to hold in. Okay, so let's play rock, paper, scissors and if I win, we get to go to McDonald's, okay? Rock, paper, scissors. I won! Look, I have a question. Are you damaged? What do you mean? Like, is your soul a little cracked? Were you the silent kid that sat in the back of the classroom with a hoodie on? Yes, I actually mm, was. That makes so much sense. I'm so sorry for you. Hi, my name's Eleven. You're eleven years old? No, I'm seventeen. My name is Eleven. But oh. anyways, I heard you were talking mess about me, Angela. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, I do know what I'm talking about, so um, I'm just gonna take the shoe and I'm just gonna, you know- <gasps> So like, what's your name again? Papa. Yeah, I am most certainly not calling you Papa ever. Eleven, this is so unlike you. Okay, but who? Who what? <laughs> who asked? Oh, you're in trouble. Eleven. Just tell us no, what happened. you won't believe me if I tell you. Try me. Try you? Okay, so basically there's this girl, I'm not gonna say her name, but it's in between 10 and 12. And basically she like has these superpowers and she made a portal and there's like all these monsters that came out of the portal and they've been like chasing us for like the past three years and it's honestly kind of stingy. And so, like, Angela! Oh my gosh. My powers didn't work. Well, we can see that. Um, I'm just gonna give you these sunglasses. Um, just put them on. Um, go into the girls' bathroom. Just take you a minute, because this is really embarrassing for you. Okay. Wait, what's his favorite song? Oh, I know. Boys in the booty system, top down AC with the coolest system in the car when the club be the is Beck not really that bad of a person? Yes, he literally killed like five of our Look, friends. I really just think he's kind. Let me just talk to him, okay? Hi, Vecna. How are you? You're under arrest. For what? You literally clocked a girl upside the head with a roller skate. <laughs> what roller skate? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're so under arrest. Okay, well, did she even die? No. Dang, I really should have hit her harder. Uh, you are so no, under what? arrest. Come with me. This you're coming with me. No, mm -hmm. no this I'm not even that scared of Vecna. Like, I could totally cure him. Okay, then go talk to him. Okay, fine, then I will. Hi, Vecna. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all. I, like, got a nosebleed. Oh my goodness, why? Oh, I forgot to tell you all this, but I have powers, too, just like Eleven does. Why didn't you tell us this? <laughs> I just wanted to keep it a secret, you know? Show us. Okay, fine. <laughs> Literally nothing happened. Uh, yeah. You didn't see that piece of grass over there? It went, dink, you know? Y'all, I have been trying to escape from this Russian tundra for about a week now, and I've been trying to work on my Russian accent, but I just can't do it. It's so hard. But if this was the UK, babes, I could escape from here in a jiffy. I could escape from here real quick, you know? Vecna, please don't kill me. I'll literally do anything. Open this box. Okay. Oh my god. What did you see? It was a picture of your ugly self. You're no, so please, done. Please, please, so you killed everybody in the building? Yes, and I did it for you. Just join my side. Uh, I am so on your side. It is like sickening how much on your side I am. Look over there. <sighs> Look, I'm not really all about these squid games, you know, I, I don't want to die, so I think I'm just going to go home. But you can get a billion dollars. A billion dollars? No, 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 I'll play this game. What do I got to do? You got to stay still. Okay, um, call me Mona Lisa. How long do I stay, stay still? Stay still! <laughs> Look, I don't know what was in those cookies, but whatever it was, it was so good. Like, oh my god. You goodness. weren't supposed to eat the cookies. Wait, what? You'll get shot. I'm going to get shot. No, no, no. So I have a question. Oh yeah, what's your How question? did you win your marbles? So basically, I was paired with this really weird guy, and he was like, hold my marbles for a second. And I was like, okay. And then that's how I won. So what you y'all is about I to- I just won! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm putting all of my stress and all of my anger into this. We won! Oh my 
fucking this week one. Look, I knew all of my anger would pull me through. Y'all, I have to go next. Hurry up. Okay, I will. Okay, one. Okay, two. Okay, we're jamming. Okay, three. Okay, this is good. Just, I just gotta do this next one, okay? I made it. <laughs> ah! Um, we sadly do not even have footage of me playing this game because I won so quickly. Look, I made it all the way to the end. I was not about to come in second. I mean, what? What is that? Plus, now I'm a billionaire, so, you know, I'm rich. Ah, yeah. The Hunger Games will begin in three, two, one. Ooh, I have been waiting for this one forever. Like, I have so much built-up anger that I just need to release. Okay, who wants to be killed first? Libra, how about you? No, please no, no. Oh, come on. You don't want me to release my anger on you? So, basically, I will be hiding up in this tree until everyone dies of starvation. <laughs> Look, if y'all are up there, please send me down some food. Maybe a Happy Meal from McDonald's? No, we're not gonna do but that. But why? I mean, do y'all want me to die? Yes, we do want you to die. Can you go ahead and get oh. to it? <laughs> so like 10 minutes ago, a bear came running out of the woods and tried to eat me. But then again, if I was a bear, I would want to eat me too, so I can't really blame it, you know? I totally think that me and you should have an alliance. Okay, sure. Actually, never mind. Ow! Why would you stab me? What? I'm sorry. I'm just indecisive. Wake up. Why are you asleep? No, no, no. Y'all woke me up at 6 o'clock in the morning for this. I am tired, so y'all are gonna let me take a nap, or <laughs> I'm just gonna go jump off of the cliff, okay? <laughs> Whoa, where am I? This van looks absolutely atrocious. You need to get quiet. No, the only thing that we need to be getting is some Clorox disinfectant bleach because this van looks like it came straight out of a nightmare. I hate to ask, but could we go through McDonald's? Are you not scared? <laughs> no, this is like my fourth time being kidnapped. Wait, really? Yeah, everybody wants me. Ooh, this is your house? Yeah, it is. This is not. Remember when I said I was gonna call 911 and everything? Yeah. Just forget it. I'm just gonna call Pizza Hut and order a pizza. Oh, wait, I'm being kidnapped? You literally crawled in my van. It said Amazon on the side of the van, and I wanted my package. Give me all the money that you got. Look, I don't know who lied and told you that I have money, but, but I don't. I mean, I am broke. I mean, I wish I did, though. It is so boring in here. We should play some music. What music would we even play? Ooh, I love the Jonas Brothers. No, no, we are not doing that, no. Look, if you're gonna kill me, at least have some music playing in the background. This van is an absolute mess. I mean, you should feel ashamed for yourself. I mean, what did you do? Get in a fight with the furniture store back here? Yeah. Oh my goodness, are you gonna, like, sell me to the black market? Yeah. For how much? Probably, like, 2000 2000 No, I'm at least worth, like, a million. Well, you're worth nothing with that attitude. I do not have an attitude. Am I getting kidnapped? Yes. Congratulations! For what? You chose me out of everyone, which shows that you clearly have amazing taste. Oh, um... Do you know what I want? No, I don't, but if it's money that you want, <laughs> you picked the wrong person, because I am broke. Um, does anyone see a light switch or something? Because I cannot see a thing. Oh, okay, okay. What is this? This place is moldy and rusty. I'm gonna die from lung cancer before you even get to hurt me. Hey, is this McDonald's? It is. Great. I would like a Big Mac and- Who are you talking to? Um, McDonald's. Why? Because I am hungry. Wait, do you want something? No, I'm good. Okay, I would like a Big Mac and a Whopper. A Whopper is Burger King. Yes, it is. This is McDonald's. Do you mind going and picking that up? What? Oh my goodness, is everyone okay? Yeah, I was just trying to park the car. Does this look like a parking spot to you? I guess not. Oh my goodness, can we get a clean up on aisle four? Can you try to back the car out or something? No, it's stuck. Goodness, I don't get paid enough for this. Um, why are you wearing a wedding dress in the middle of Walmart? We wanted to get married here because it's so romantic. Oh, trust me, Walmart is not romantic. Now you and your little fiance can go try Target if y'all want. So I told Vanessa, do not talk about me because I know what you did. Hey, mm -hmm. stop gossiping with the customers and get back to work. Fine. Look, call me later. And that was my presentation on why I should be the manager at our Walmart. How long have you been working here? Two days. Don't you think that's not enough time? Um, it's a Walmart. Oh, yeah, you're right. Which one of y'all set the clothing section on fire? Hmm? I mean, I know our clothes are terrible, but y'all didn't have to go and set it on fire. So your debit card got declined. Do you have another form of payment? No, that's my only form of payment. Well, you're gonna have to go return those groceries and then maybe try Dollar General. But, 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 no, 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 no. If you have a complaint, go to customer services, not me. So, like, the Hunger Games started about five minutes ago, and it is already so hot out here. Like, could someone just kill me now? 
Aries, did you just stab me? You just told me to. I was kidding. Why does the Hunger Games gotta start at 8 o'clock in the morning? Like, we couldn't have done this in the afternoon. Plus, a bee stung me this morning, and I'm kind of feeling... Kind of, kind of feeling dizzy. So Scorpio came out of nowhere and stabbed me with an axe because I called them a rat. Now, should I have been more friendlier? Probably. But I don't need friends. They disappoint me. Oh, wow. It's getting really foggy in here. I kind of want to touch it. Oh, my gosh. The fog is poisonous. Sagittarius, why would you shoot me with your bow and arrow? You know how emotionally unstable I can be. So I'm, like, hiding in this tree up here, and no one is ever going to catch me. Ah! Hello everyone and welcome back to Keeping Up With The Leos. It's day five and I am already so bored so I decided to make this a musical, okay? We're in the Hunger Games and I'm amazing. <coughs> Virgo, why would you stab me? Why are we singing in the Hunger Games? I had to spice things up. So I was trying to start a fire because I'm cold inside and out. But then Scorpio saw the smoke, came over and killed me. Like the audacity. So I was walking through the woods, minding my business, and then all of a sudden I hear Sagittarius talking crap about me. So then obviously I go and fight them, but this time I lost. But just know, Sagittarius, that you may have killed me, but I'm still better than you. I lost the fight. So I have been hiding under this rock for the past three days, just waiting for Gemini to die. Then all of a sudden they come around and sit on it and squish me. Did you know that Sagittarius was under the rock? Uh, yeah, that's why I did it. I saw an opportunity and I took it. Anyways, where's the money? I heard there was money. Uh-uh, I am not getting in that lake. Why? There could be sharks in there. Sharks live in salt water. No, there are freshwater sharks. I promise you. Oh my goodness, could y'all be quiet? It is literally 3 a.m. in the morning. I am trying to sleep. I am like so excited for summer camp. I am too. The only bad thing is that there's no air conditioning. Wait, what? Y'all don't have air conditioning? Nope. Did you bring a fan? No, did you? No, I didn't. No, no. I. Someone call my mom. I am not staying here. I don't want to go ziplining. Um, why? Because I could die. That's what makes it fun. I mean, the fear of the cable just snapping at any moment. I mean, that's what makes it. Who wants to go first? Oh, me! Y'all, this summer camp may be nice, but let me tell y'all what's not nice. These chicken nuggets, which taste like dried cardboard, and the lemonade, which tastes like rat pee. How do you know what rat pee tastes like? Whoa, don't ask questions. Whoa, is this your campfire? Yes. It looks like y'all are all gathered around doing some voodoo ritual. You wanna join? No, no thank you. I will just go back to my cabin. It's the best part of camp. I'm sure it is. I just wanted to say that I'm- No, I'm breaking up with you. But I was about to break up with you. Um, I said it first. That is not how it works. Well, that's how it's gonna work because I am not letting anyone, especially you, break up with me, okay? I'm breaking up with you. I'm sorry, are you breaking up with me while I am driving a car? Yeah. Do you realize that I have full control over your life right now? What is that supposed to mean? All I am saying is that red light up ahead is looking very much green. I'm breaking up with you. Wait, why? I am literally beautiful, stunning, amazing, talented. One hour later. I am kind, I am smart, and I am funny. I mean, what is wrong with me? Your voice is annoying and your face is tiring to look at. Well, you must be blind and deaf. I mean, honestly, I didn't think you had that much in common with Helen Keller because my voice sounds angelic and my face is beautiful. So I'm breaking up with you. Okay. You aren't sad? No, I am not sad. I mean, I'm sad for you, but as for me, <laughs> I'll just go find someone new. Oh, there they are. Bye. Y'all, this mansion is so nice. Like, this party is about to be so good. Was that a gunshot? No, someone start the car because I am not doing this tonight. Y'all, there is a dead body on the floor. Did you kill them? No, I didn't kill them. Then who did? What do you want me to do? Ask them? Oh, wait, they're dead. Wait, someone died? Yeah, and we don't know who killed them. We should split up and search for clues. This is not Scooby-Doo. Um, don't disrespect Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo always figured out who it was. Did they die in the kitchen? No. Okay, so I'll be in there. You don't want to help figure out who it is? No, y'all look like y'all got it. I'll just let y'all do it. Just tell me when y'all find out. Oh my goodness, y'all. The door is open. Do y'all know what that means? Someone opened it. No, the murderer opened it. We don't know that. Well, yeah, but like, y'all, I am not an investigator. What do y'all want from me? They are fools, all of them. So while they're in there trying to figure out who the murderer is, <clears throat> it's me, by the way. I'll just be swimming in this pool, okay? Oh my gosh, y'all, the house is on fire. Wait, why? I mean, I didn't mean to. I was just trying to cook. You did that on purpose. Well, you don't have to tell anyone. 
Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. What? The house is on fire. Oh my goodness, really? I bet it was Scorpio, Gemini, or Aries that started it. Yeah, it was them. Of course it was them. It's always them. They do this every week. Y'all, I'm really stressed out. Just remember to bring your clothes, your, your toothbrush, and... Y'all, I think they just passed out. Someone needs to call 911 right now. Why don't you do it? Well, my phone is kind of in the fire, so I can't. You need to. But I don't know the phone number to it. It's 911. It's literally in the name. Oh my gosh, we're doomed. Hey, everyone. The fire truck is here. Yes, we're gonna save the day. Just jump. I am not jumping. But you will die. Mm -hmm. Someone get a ladder. I mean, do I strike you as a skydiver? Y'all, it is really hot out here, and it kind of smells like burnt wood. That's probably because there's a whole house burning behind you. Okay, dang, okay. Mm, I am so glad that I have insurance to cover this. Um, your insurance was just canceled. What? My house is destroyed, and I lost all of my money. I guess I'm gonna become a criminal and rob a bank. What in your right mind made you want to burn down a whole neighborhood? Well, I didn't mean to burn down the whole neighborhood. I was just trying to have a fire in my backyard. And then the backyard caught on fire. And then my house caught on fire. And then 10 seconds later, the whole neighborhood was on fire. What made you want to poison a whole restaurant full of people? Well, I didn't mean to poison them. We were just running out of drinks because we were super busy. And so I was just like, hmm, why don't I serve them bleach? But apparently bleach is poisonous. Did you steal $20 million from the bank? Well, I prefer the term borrowed. Well, this money that you've borrowed is now missing. Well, I left it all in my car, right? And then someone stole my car. So I actually don't know where it is. Well, you're going to go to jail until you figure out where it is. What? Why did you steal a whole car? Because I saw $20 million in the back seat. Of course I was going to steal the car. Officer, where are we going? To prison where you belong. What? Mr. Officer, sir, I have a complaint to make. What is it? The food here tastes like it came straight out of a dumpster, and this bed is harder than Patrick's Rock from Spongebob. Well, this isn't a five-star hotel. Well, please, I could have told you that. Everybody listen up. Now that I am in this prison, y'all will all listen to me. Anyone have a problem with that? Yeah, I do. Well, let's rumble. Let's rumble right now. Get me out of here, please. I don't belong here. <laughs> Get me out. I am not using that toilet. I am not using that toilet. I will hold it in if I have to till I get out of this prison. Why are we even having this debate? No one wants food that's been soaked in grease for longer than they've probably been alive. Please, your so-called chicken sandwich is just a piece of cardboard soaked in pickle juice and then slapped on the bun. When they see us, they're like, oh my goodness, this is luxury. But when they see you, they're like, when did I take a wrong turn and end up in the Dollar General? You're just mad because I'm open for seven days a week and you can barely stay open for six. You know what can barely stay open? That ice cream machine in the back of your stores. Why don't we try fixing that before coming for me? You know, I think it's funny how all of your employees say, my pleasure, but it would really be a pleasure if they actually made some good food. Okay, so let me wrap this up. If I walk into your restaurant, I will probably die within the next two to three minutes from whatever lung cancer I get. And if I eat your food, whoo, I'm probably gonna die too from that rat poison that you put in it. Y'all are all lying because I am obviously the best. Why are you even called Burger King? Is it because you're the king of giving food poisoning? McDonald's, that was the worst joke I've ever heard in my life. I mean, if you can't even make food and you can't even make a funny joke, I mean, what can you do? Oh, right, nothing. There is a tornado coming. Wait, does that mean we have to go into the basement? Because if so, I am not going. That place is haunted. But you'll die! Well, I would rather get sucked up into a tornado than meet Casper the ghost. You would be meeting a ghost either way. Oh, yeah. There's a tornado! Okay, and what do you want me to do about it? I mean, do I look like I can control the weather? Okay, so I've got clothes, I've got deodorant, I've got toothpaste. <gasps> I forgot my kids! I wonder what is inside of a tornado. <gasps> Let's find out. Um, it's getting pretty windy. <gasps> I survived. Honestly, y'all, I was not expecting that. Oh, this is very much giving me Dorothy from Wizard of Oz vibes. <gasps> or that one song from Carrie Underwood about tornadoes. Yep. It's that one. Oh my goodness, my house is a wreck. But somehow my neighbor's house looks better than it did before. You hear that, Brian? I think the tornado sucked up all the trash off of your front yard. Does that sign say Mississippi? I live in Georgia, how did I get here? Before the games even started, someone played the Nicki Minaj song and so obviously I was gonna dance to it and I just danced myself right off the pedestal and got blown up. 
Scorpio came over and killed me like the roach they are. I hid under this big pile of leaves and someone forgot to mention that it was poison ivy. I saw this really cute dog in the woods, so then I went to go pet it and it just bit me and killed me. So I sadly drowned in this really big creek. How deep was it? It was like two feet deep. Leo was being so annoying, so I tried to stab them, but then I missed and ended up stabbing myself. I was walking through the woods, and then all of a sudden this big old beehive fell on top of me, and I just simply died. So a storm came, and lightning struck me in the butt. Someone decided it would be really funny to put a bomb into the Pop-Tarts. I will find you. I will hunt you down and find you. No, I'm not telling y'all what happened. Just ask Capricorn. Just ask Capricorn. Leo and I were just walking in the woods together, and then all of a sudden Taurus just jumped down from a tree like a maniac and just stabbed us. Oh my goodness, I have been waiting for this one. I would like to start off by thanking my mom, my dad. They tried to wake me up at 5am for the Hunger Games, so I said no, and I just slept in, and then they just killed me. I thought the force field was made of glass, but it's not, and so I died. I made a fire to try to heat up my Hot Pocket, and all of a sudden, Aries just stabs me. I found a bottle of CeraVe hand lotion and ate it because I thought that was yogurt. I was in an alliance with Sarja Tortilla, and then they just killed me. After I killed Aquarius for calling me Sarja Tortilla, I shot an arrow into the sky, and like five minutes later, it came back down and hit me. Y'all, I died of a heat stroke because they don't have air conditioning. It's an enclosed arena, why don't they have- I fell asleep on top of the cornucopia, and I woke up and I saw bright lights. I was in heaven is where I was. I think Scorpio killed me. I was really hungry, so I ate poisonous berries. I was trying to bury Aries' body because I'm like nice like that, and there was a bomb in the ground. I hid under this big rock thinking that I was gonna win and then someone sat on top of it and squished me. I just sat on top of this big rock and then I just won. I'm the best because everyone forgets that Australia is even a thing. No one ever forgets me because I'm just as iconic as that. I'm never forgotten. I'm just not problematic like you are. No, what's problematic is those forest fires that you keep on having. Okay, so we may have some wildfires, but at least we don't have a big fat volcano sitting in the middle of our country that's just waiting to explode. You know what? I hope it does explode on you because you deserve it at this point. Oh please, your footlong tarantulas are gonna come for you next. You're such a roach. Cancer, do you have the answers for the chem homework? Does it look? Why would you ask Cancer for the answers? They have an IQ of 5. You're one to talk, sweetie. So does that mean no one has the answers or not? I have the answers. Libra, what do you have in the class right now? 19. How do you even manage to be that dumb? They probably modeled after you, Taurus. That was a good one. Shut up, Leo. Shut up, Leo. I'm obviously the best house because I had Harry Potter, and plus I won the house cup literally every single year. Excuse me, why would you be the best house? I mean, I'm the smartest. I'm obviously the best. Um, my house is definitely the best because my students grow up to be scholars while yours just grow up to raise a family of four. I mean, my house is pretty cool. I mean, we could be the best. I'm sorry, did someone hear something? Because I didn't. Oh please, you act like everyone likes you, but in reality, everyone hates your guts. Plus, I have Draco Malfoy. None of y'all other houses could ever compare. Guys, we, we need to stop the violence. Oh please, after Slytherin and Gryffindor kill each other, who's left? It's me. I will always win. Well, I mean, Hufflepuff's left. What is Hufflepuff? Oh my gosh, they're that one irrelevant house that Cedric Diggory was in. I totally forgot about them. <laughs> Just wait. Y'all will all remember me after I'm through. I find it funny that your whole entire platform is built upon nine-year-olds and teenagers who forgot that your game was a kid's game. Okay, well, at least my game isn't built for 30-year-olds who live in their parents' basements. Plus, Roblox is built for all ages. You know, some of your games are more shady than the back alley in New York City with a rat infestation. Okay, well, at least I have a variety of games, while your one game that you have is bland, tasteless, boring. Where's the flavor? Okay, let me dumb it down for you because your three brain cells can't comprehend what I'm trying to say. I am ten times better than you, and you are... Trash. Oh, you should just pack it up, Minecraft, because your time has come and gone. We're tired of you. We're bored. Let's move on to the next game. <gasps> oh, wait, it's me. No, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. Um, Waffle House, I'm pretty sure that you have about 43 different strands of COVID-19 just on your jukebox. Us? No. Your food? Definitely. I mean, your food deserves a lawsuit. It's so terrible. 
No, what deserves a lawsuit is that stingy bathroom that you have. You could literally pass out by walking in there because it stinks so much. Okay, well, at least I don't hire my employees from the Dollar General down the street. At least we can get employees. Meanwhile, your employers are too busy fighting each other to actually serve the customers. Right, well, I would rather have some employees fighting than having a whole identity crisis in your company. I mean, are you IHOB or IHOP? International House of Pancakes or Beef? I guess we'll never know. Pick a struggle and stick with it. Waffle House, your whole entire existence is a struggle. But get it, I guess. Uh, it's the disrespect for me. LA, I can smell your pollution and your wildfire smoke from here. You need to pick a struggle and stick with it. New York, your whole entire city is a struggle, but go off. Um, you want me to go off? No. Why don't you go ahead and go off and fall into the Pacific Ocean? You can be the next Atlantis. Look, you can call my air quality dirty, but nothing is dirtier than Times Square. Um, no, your whole city is dirtier than Times Square. It's literally built like a Walmart bathroom. You know what? I don't know what's bigger, your ego or those rats living in your city. You have the biggest rat of all living in your city. His name's Shane Dawson. Okay, you win. Um, Allison, shouldn't you be in jail right now for falling in love with the gorilla? That's illegal on so many levels. Um, shouldn't you be in school right now with your 13-year-old built self? Um, doesn't it bother you that your whole career is a lie? I mean, you're not even really famous. You just told everyone that you were with a rumor. And plus, when you went back to 1960, whatever it was, and you had a chance to redo it, you were like, hmm, I'm not going to use my powers this time. And you could have literally rewritten history. Um, okay, well, at least I'm not in love with a mannequin. Um, don't make me pull a Vanya and cut your throat and make your powers go away, because I most certainly will. Oh, please, you can't even use your own powers correctly. What makes you think that you're able to use an axe? Um, you're one to talk about using powers. The last time you used your powers, you lost custody of your daughter. I heard a rumor that the store that you left your mannequin at blew up. I don't know how you manage to make your parking lots the most dangerous places in every city. <laughs> no, the most dangerous place in every city is your bathroom. I can smell it from here. Okay, well, at least my workers don't look like they belong in Halloween Town. At least we have workers. Not a soul wants to wear those stingy khakis that you make all of your employees wear. Look, I don't know what's sketchier. Those pee stains all over your floor or your electronics department. You know what? Instead of your slogan being expect more, pay less, it should be pay more, expect less. Okay, and your slogan should be warning, employees may bite. Do you smell that? It almost smells like irrelevancy. It must be the earth signs. I'd rather be stubborn instead of being emotionally unstable. Guys, why don't we just go see what air signs think? Oh wait, they're probably too indecisive to tell you anything. Okay, I may be a bit indecisive, but it's because my IQ isn't 5 and I level out my options and choose which one is the best way to go. Because I'm smart like that, unlike you. What? My IQ is not 5. It's 6. So get it right. Well, I mean, apparently air signs are smart and fire signs are rageful and I'm stunning. So what trait do you have, water signs? Uh, I can make tricks with my tongue. <laughs> Um, Water Signs is definitely the adoptive one of the group. Oh wait, no you're not. Because that would mean that someone would have actually had to have chosen you. Why does every single one of your gummy bears taste like flavored candy wax? Well, at least my candy doesn't taste like battery acid. It's the being one of the most expensive candies, even though the quality of your candy is probably equal to a Walmart jewelry store. You're just mad because you may taste better, but you will never be as iconic as us. Being hated and being iconic is not the same thing. <sighs> no, I'm just iconic. But you would know about being hated, especially since everybody would much rather want to have a sour gummy worm instead of a sour patch kid. Mm-hmm, and that's on period. <sighs> just go ahead and admit that we're better than you, DreamWorks. Um, I would, but that would be a lie. No, it would not be a lie, because we have Cars, Monsters, Inc., Toy Story, Brave, uh, we could go on and on. 
You could go on and on, naming those trash movies. Meanwhile, we have Shrek, How to Train Your Dragon, The Bee Movie. Mm-hmm. Your movies are like the stingy Walmart version of mine. You're just mad because our movies belong in the Hall of Fame, while your movies, um, they belong in the dumpster. <laughs> That's why we're worth twice as much as you. Because we know how to run a business, and you just know how to run a clown show. Katie, when are you going to realize that it's time for you to stop making songs? You can't make any more good ones because your time has come and gone. <sighs> Don't be mad because the highlight of your career was when you were on Carpool Karaoke with James Corden. Well, I mean, your songs are like anti-wrinkling cream for my brain. <laughs> um, my nine number one hits say otherwise. Yeah, nine number one hits, and you have zero Grammys, and I have 15. Uh, well, they I- Uh, you're speechless. You and everyone else on Earth when they see me. Um, I'm the rarest zodiac sign, which obviously means I'm the best. Isn't your name Aquarius, but you're an air sign? Um, calm down, Scorpio. You wouldn't want to get overheated, would you? Um, you're one to talk, Taurus. You're usually too stubborn to do anything. Those are some big words coming from someone who's so fragile. If all bark, no bite was a person, it would be you, Aries. And if irrelevant was a person, it would be you, Libra. Everyone knows I'm the king of this castle. Um, no you're not. I am. But at least you don't have a serious illness named after you. <clears throat> Cancer. Um, no. I'm the best sign because I literally stay unbothered. I really don't care about anything. You must not care about hygiene either because I can smell you from here. <laughs> I'ma just sit back and watch the world burn because everybody knows that I'm the best. Hello and welcome to Which Month Was the Best? Mm-hmm. This year we have 2020. Let's meet our contestants. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not the best month because Kobe Bryant died and COVID-19 was discovered. Um, Harry and Meghan left the royal family and almost every single school in America shut down. Well, almost every single state in America was in lockdown, but Tiger King happened. In my month, Ellen DeGeneres was canceled, Shane Dawson was canceled, but UFOs were confirmed to be true. Um, my month was pretty terrible. We have fires in California, hurricanes in Texas, and murder hornets. Among Us literally exploded in my month, but we did have one of the worst Halloweens in history. Um, none of y'all win. This year was absolutely atrocious. See you next year, or not. Do we even have to waste time comparing me to this busted backyard boot camp? If you don't want to go up against us, just say that. I mean, I would feel pretty embarrassed too if my song sounded like yours. Um, I'm sorry, who ended up winning the camp war competition? Oh right, it was me! And you can't even say anything with those songs that sound like they came out of an episode of Doc McStuffins. Okay, well at least my camp isn't so pathetic that they had the cheat to win. We would have won with just natural talent. Natural talent? No, if your talent was so good, you would have been able to afford some air conditioning for your busted, broke-down camp. I'm sorry, but I'm just having trouble remembering, but wasn't your camp so conceited that they all ended up joining our camp in the end? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ugh, the only reason anyone knows who you are is because Connect 3 goes there. I mean, is there even a camp star anymore since all of your people wanted to come to us? The disrespect. You really think that you're better than us? We're the OG. We built you. Excuse me? We built ourselves. We don't need some three crusty mermaids to show us how it's done. No, we are not crusty because every single one of our actors went on to have another career after our show. Meanwhile, all of your actors are just one-hit wonders. That's why your show only lasted for one season, because no one could stand to look at you for another one. Look, we get it. You want to be us. Your jealousy is really showing through, but you will always and forever be trash. Excuse me, we literally built the brand. The only reason anyone wants to watch your show now is because they can't get enough of us. Please, the only thing that I can't get enough of is the silence from every time you shut your mouth. Uh, the disrespect. Since our old leader, Iron Man, kind of, um, kicked the bucket, who's going to be the new Avengers leader? I mean, I think it should be me, but...
Uh, y'all are dumb if y'all don't want me to be the leader because I'm the most powerful one of y'all left. Um, you're a little bit too psycho to be the leader right now. Plus, I'm Captain Marvel. I should be the leader. Captain Marvel? No. More like Captain Irrelevant. No one wants you on Earth, sweetie. Just go back into the galaxy and fly around. Uh, what if I became the leader? I mean, y'all, I would do so good. Plus, I was Iron Man's favorite. Uh, oh, please. You're like five years old. Plus, I'm the smartest, so obviously I should lead. Um, no, I am definitely smarter than you. I mean, why don't you go back to being a surgeon? That sounded like a great career pathway for you. Um, guys, what about me? What about me? In the first four seconds of The Hunger Games, I was stabbed by Scorpio. But just know, Scorpio, I will be haunting you for the rest of your life! Okay, so maybe I lost the fight to Ares, but that's not really a big deal. What was the fight over? They stole my Pop-Tart and I needed it back. I was not about to live a life full of starvation. So, um, I was going through Sagittarius' stuff and I found this really tasty drink. And, you know, when I drank it, um, it was poison. So I lit a fire in the middle of the woods because I was not about to live that arctic life. You know, I wanted to feel, you know, very warm, very comforting. And But anyways, um, Virgo saw that fire and they came and found me and, you know, shot me with their bow and arrow, yes. I am so mad right now because I was hiding under this rock, you know, and it was a big rock, okay? And then Jim and I came walking through the woods and sat on top of the rock and it smushed me. Like, that is so disrespectful of them. So, um, sadly, no one killed me. Instead, I fell out of a tree. How did you fall out of a tree? Okay, it was a very wobbly tree. You can't even blame me for that. It was, like, very tall, skinny, wobbly, you know? I can't, you know, it just wasn't meant for me, you know? So, basically, I was, like, walking through the woods, you know, taking pictures for my Instagram, and then I saw a bear, and I was like, oh my gosh, we have to take a picture with it. So I posed, and I was like, bear, you need to smile, and then, it, you know clawed me in the eye <laughs> so um i was swimming in this lake right behind me and um as i was swimming in there you know i felt a little pinch and i was like oh my goodness what is that and it was a crocodile i was literally just enjoying life and then scorpio tried to shoot me with their bow and arrow but i dodged the arrow and i survived <sighs> but shortly after they shot another arrow and it hit me like right here so um i didn't survive that one so I was just like chowing down on these weird spicy berries and then all of a sudden I heard this voice from above go Stand in the middle of the field And so I went and stood in the middle of the field and then one singular bolt of lightning went and struck me and I passed away Um, if you ask me I feel as if that was targeted, but you know Tell us what happened Scorpio Um, I slipped off of a rock on accident that is absolutely not what happened. Scorpio was standing right here like, oh my gosh, I'm about to win the Hunger Games. And I said, I think not. And I went and I pushed them off and they like hit their head on a rock or something as they fell into the lake. What would you like to tell your fans at home? <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I want to say congrats, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I would like to tell my fans at home, um, look before you jump, you know? I'm breaking up with you. Is it because I'm not pretty enough? Actually, don't answer that because no one is prettier than me. Are you sure about that? What, you disagree? I mean, are you Helen Keller? Are you blind? <laughs> Anyone could see that. I have something to tell you. What is it? I'm breaking up I'm with I'm breaking you. up with you. I was just about to do that. No, no, nobody breaks up with me. I had to say it first. I'm not about to get dumped by you. I've been thinking about something. Yeah, what is it? I think we should break up. You're breaking up with me on a plane? Yeah, what about it? I can't even get up and dramatically walk away. Like, you didn't even want to wait till the plane landed? I mean, are you stupid? We should break up. Oh, um, how about we just play one more game before we break up? Sure, what's the game? It's called Hold Your Breath Under the Water As Long As You Can. You go first. I'm breaking up with you. Let me ask you something. Do you like being alive? Like, does it make you happy that you're not dead? Why would you ask that? Because I am driving a car right now that you are riding in, so I have full control on whether you live or die. What are you gonna do, drive off the road? I will, I will drive off the road. Do you want me to? No, no. Wake up. Wake up. What? Is the house on fire? No. Is the tsunami coming? No. Is the tornado coming? No, I'm breaking up with you. So you woke me up just to break up with me? Yeah, what about it? You know what? I don't need you because any person that I'm in a relationship would know never to wake me up, okay? Just go pack your bags and leave. Clap if you're feeling pretty hungry.
Yes. Are you not scared of getting kidnapped? Look, ki getting kidnapped is something that happened in the past. Right now, I'm feeling very much hungry. So can we go to McDonald's or not? No, absolutely not. Uh, rude. Uh, yes. Is this 911? Are you talking to someone back there? No one. Pay attention to the road. Just, just keep driving. Yes, it's in a white van. Are you talking to the police? Hey, this is none of your business. This phone call is not your business. Okay, turn around but, and pay attention to the road. Hey, Let's not die right now, okay? Yeah, look. Yeah. Pay attention to the road, yeah. Where did you get that water from? Um, that fridge over there. Why would you touch my fridge? Um, I was thirsty and I saw a fridge. One plus one equals two. I'm not thirsty anymore. You were not supposed to go in look, there. it's literally a Dasani water bottle. Take a chill pill. You need to build a bridge and get a... Y'all, I stole my kidnapper's phone and I just want to record a message in case I die. I have a few confessions. Veronica, I have never liked your haircut. Please get a new haircut. It's ugly. Eric, you sound like a squirrel. It hurts my ears to listen to you. And Trixie, you Who are you talking to? Is coming. Let's play a game. I spy with my little eye something trashy. Your attitude. Uh, no, this basement. It is so disgusting, rotten, foul. You need to fix it. I'm, I'm, mm -mm, I'm That's bad on your part. Please let me go. I'll literally do anything. Name it and I will do it. Give me a million dollars. Uh-uh. You picked the wrong person for that. I don't have that type of money. I'm literally like broke. I can point you to someone who is rich, but you got the wrong person. It ain't me. It's not me. It is not me. The purge has begun. All crime is now legal. Oh, I have been waiting for this. I've already got my hit list ready and everything. Okay, the first person I'm gonna get is Clarissa. <laughs> Oh my goodness, someone set my school on fire. It definitely wasn't me. <laughs> Y'all, I stole this school bus from my school and then I was driving and I hit a speed bump and it was like really big. So I looked back, but there wasn't a speed bump there. I think I hit someone. So I broke into the White House and I found this remote, but it's like not doing anything. Hold on, I'm getting a call. The moon blew up. The moon blew up? Yes. Oh my gosh. What did you do? I don't know about y'all, but this is the perfect time to get me some free snacks. <laughs> y'all, the lady behind me will not stop kicking my seat. All crime is legal. <gasps> Excuse me, ma'am. Can I have a word? You know, I'm not really all about these black and white outfits. How about something blue or red? No. Why not? Because that's the okay, rule. Well, who made the rules? Me. Who are you? I am the prison guard okay, and I, I am your boss. Okay, you. okay do you I'm understand? Sorry. Hello, today we'll be trying prison food. So here we go. Oh my goodness, what's wrong? I need water. Why is it so dry? Are you okay? <laughs> dry. <coughs> um, is there like a nicer room than this? Because this room is dirty, smelly, and I need something lavish and exquisite. Um, didn't you steal $15,000 from Okay, but bank? that $15,000 could have been used to buy a nicer room, uh -uh, you know? Don't start, you know? don't start, don't, don't start. Please help me. It's, I'm trying to escape the prison in this tunnel that I found, but it smells in here. I mean, it reeks. It's so bad, y'all. Please help me. <laughs> Clap if you think prison is nasty, disgusting, terrible. Oh, well, let's break out of it. Yes, let's do I it. I think I just started a riot. Oh my. Hello and welcome to my prison. This is a room tour. Y'all ready? Is that a phone? Um, a brick. <laughs> um, why is it lighting up? It's a new exclusive brick. It's very expensive. Oh, okay. <sighs> that was a close one, y'all. That was really close. So what's my gift? You actually don't have a gift. Let me see that candle. Why won't you give me a gift, huh? Put the candle Give down. A gift. Put the candle down I don't now. Even blow out. Like, is what? Like, that's the enough. Way. Abuela, you have been nothing but mean to me. And guess what I found? Uh, why oh. do you have a baseball bat? Oh, I'm just gonna hit you with it. Just kidding. We're gonna play some oh. baseball, of course. <laughs> I don't do anything yeah. else. So, my gift is that I can read people's minds. No way. I don't believe you. Oh, really? Your credit card number is. For legal reasons, we cannot share this part of the audio with you. So have you just been living in the walls this whole time, Bruno? Yeah, basically. And oh, wait, then... I'm sorry to interrupt. There's like a rat chewing on your toothbrush. I don't know. Oh if you yeah, he that. does that from time to time. You know, it's yeah, normal. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Someone get me out of here, please. Yeah. So basically, I can talk with animals. Really? Oh my goodness. Oh hey, bird. Wow. See, I understand that bird. <laughs> so where's my bed? In this room, your bed is a leaf. So Isabella gets a whole king size mattress, and I get to sleep on a leaf. What is this? What is like on you shine? Um, why, why are we singing? Um, to add the spice, you know, to add the flavor. No, make this no, a lot no, fun, that's enough. Know? That's enough. No more. You're better. Dang, this vault is thick. Wait, I think the door's closing. Hello? Is anyone there? I can't see or hear anything. <gasps> Helen Keller? Y'all, I got all the money and I escaped through a secret door to get to the roof, but I don't know how to get off of the roof. Like, what if I fire? Hurry up, start the car, start the car. I got the money, start the car. The car won't start. What? Okay, it looks like we're running. <sighs>
How am I supposed to rob a bank if there's no one in here? Like, that defeats the whole purpose. Actually, it's easier that way. Uh-uh. Y'all may be here for the money, but I'm here for the attention. Like, can we go to a more popular bank? I want to get noticed. I want to be on the news. Hello, can I help you? Yes, I'm here to rob this bank. So could you please hand me all of the money that you have? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> you went to Starbucks last night at 10.59 p.m. and met up with a woman who was definitely not your wife. And I have the pictures to prove it. So if you do not hand me all of the money that this bank has, I will be sending those pictures to your wife. So what's it gonna be? Y'all, there's someone at the vault. What do I do? What are you doing down here? Um, the money needed to be dusted, so I'm here to dust it for you. Yay! <laughs> Our bank is out of money. Oh, um... You're breaking up with me? Yeah. Is it because I'm not pretty enough? Wait, actually, that's impossible. No one can be prettier than me. <laughs> and if you disagree, you must be like Helen Keller. I think we should break Wait, up. Wait, what did you say? I mean, it kind of sounded like you just said that you wanted to break up with me. And if, in fact, you did say that, <laughs> I might want to show you my new knife collection. I just wanted to say one more thing. Yes, I will marry no, you. No, I'm breaking up with you. What? Could I have everyone's attention in this restaurant? This person who is sitting in front of me is terrible. They smell. They are literally disgusting, and I cannot even describe- I'm breaking up with you. Wait, you're breaking up with me while I'm driving a car that you're in? Yeah, what about it? <laughs> All I'm saying is, is with that statement in mind, I might feel a little bit compelled to drive off the road and run into something, specifically on your side of the car. Let's talk. Okay. I want to break I'm up I'm breaking with up with you. But, but I no, was No, I a... knew you were about to break up with me, and I just simply had to break up with you first because trust me no one breaks up with me do you get it do you understand i think we should break you know up. what i totally agree but you know could we just share one last meal i made a salad for you okay sure this is really good yeah i just got the leaves from that bush over there <clears throat> my throat is starting to itch <laughs> yeah the leaves were actually poison ivy and now you're gonna have to eat sandpaper to scratch what? your insides Y'all are already at the door trying to scare me. Let me just say this right now. If one of y'all gets too close to me, <laughs> you're gonna get punched, okay? Ooh, you smell disgusting. You need to brush your teeth, Mr. Clown. Like, the only thing haunted about this house is your breath. If I were to kill someone and then hide their body, I would hide it in a haunted house because no one would ever think it's a real body, you know? Why are you thinking about this? I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's someone at the end of the hallway. Security, get me out of here. I'm gonna die. <coughs> Did you just cough up blood on my shirt? This is Gucci. Wait, is it really? No, I got it from Walmart, but, but still. Oh my goodness, your costume is so scary! I'm not even dressed up. Wait, that's- that's how you normally look? Yeah! Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. I'm going to fire you. No, you cannot do that! I'll- I'll, I'll sue you! Sue me for what? For emotional distress! You're not even emotional! I'll fake cry! Don't make me do it! No, I'll fake no, cry. no. You're firing me? Why? You caught an attitude with a customer. Miss Debra called me and asked why her water wasn't working, so I asked her, did you pay your water bill? And she was like, no. And I was like, well, that's probably why. I'm firing you. Could you guess um, why? Is it because I took a baseball bat and, like, smashed your car because you didn't give me a raise that I deserved? Yes, that's well, it. Well, I wonder why. So basically, I'm going to have to I fire quit. No, I was gonna fire no, you. you heard me say it first. I am not about to have that on my resume, okay? Like, come on now. You're getting fired because you take way too much time on your lunch break. Um, hello, you literally give us 10 minutes to eat lunch. I mean, it takes me 10 minutes alone just to use the bathroom. Like, what is this? So, you're just gonna fire me? Yes. I know where you live. Just um, keep that in mind. I know where you sleep at night. So, my advice is sleep with one security. eye open, okay? Oh my goodness, you scared me so much! I had no idea you were gonna dress up for Halloween! I'm not even dressed up! Wait, so you're not dressed up as a clown right now? No, I don't even have any makeup on! Oh, um, so you just naturally look like that. What's your favorite part about Halloween? Um, I'd have to say the candy, to be honest. What about hanging out with your friends? Look, here's the truth. Friends, they come and go. Candy? Candy stays with you forever, and I live by that. Trick or treat. Hey, the candy's inside. Come on in. Um, I am not going inside your house. That is stranger danger. But there's candy inside. I do not care if you have the iPhone 22 inside there. I am not going in. Good night. I am so happy that it's Halloween. Yes, so we can hang out with friends. Um, no, so I can scare little children. <laughs> Anyways. Wait, do not eat your candy. Why? It could be poisoned. Well, how do we know? Here, just give it to me. I'll tell you if it is. Mmm. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, this is not poison. So can we eat the rest of it? Um, I think you should just give it all to me so I can just check and see if it's poisoned or not. You, you, you know? <laughs> y'all, I said I was gonna stay up with y'all all night, but I just cannot. I have got to go to bed. I'm just so exhausted because there's so many children. It is nine o'clock. I know, but look, I need to go to bed, okay? I can't do this. Oh my goodness, an alien! Hey, can you do that little zap thing? What do you mean? You know, where you go zzz, and then they go... Yes, I can. Oh my goodness, I have like a whole list of people that I need you to do that to. Can you do that? Sure, I guess. Thank you so much! This just made my day! Okay, so let me get this straight. You are an alien from outer space visiting Earth. And the one place that you wanted to visit on Earth was a Walmart? Yes, there's just so much to see here. There is nothing to see at a Walmart except for like someone scratching their butt or like a little kid crying on the floor. Hello! Oh my goodness, how did you get in my car? I mean, do I look like an Uber driver? Because I am not. I teleported, of course. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Oh. Can I get your phone number? I kind of want to talk more. Uh, hello? <gasps> oh my goodness, why are you dressed like that? Halloween isn't until October. I'm like an alien. Are you really? <gasps> Smile for this picture. This is totally going on my Instagram. Um, what's an Instagram? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up! What do you want? Take me to your leader. Are you an alien? Yes, now take me to your leader. The only thing that is leading me right now is the urge to sleep. I could just terminate you. No! Ah! Oh my goodness, where am I? Am I on a spaceship? We are heading towards our home planet. Are you scared? Oh no, I am not scared. I have been trying to get off of that planet for years. Anyways, let's get to home planet. Let's go. I am so excited! Oh my goodness, this is so scary! Wait, where's the camera? Uh, to the right. Why? I had to look good in that photo. Oh my goodness, I love roller coasters! Oh my goodness, why? Because I love that feeling of not knowing whether or not you're gonna survive! Why did y'all have to put me in the front of the roller coaster? Like, I cannot do this! Oh my goodness, this roller coaster is like really tall. Um, has anyone ever died on this? Ten people have. Oh, sign me up. <laughs> Let's do it. You didn't want to ride the roller coasters with us? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'll just stick with the smaller ride. This is literally a children's ride. Okay, well they let me on the ride, so I don't see the issue. Y'all, I should not have ate before I got in this roller coaster. I feel so sick. Blech. I was fighting Capricorn for a Pop-Tart. I said, I said, I said, give me the Pop-Tart. And they just stabbed me. Like, I am so lost. <gasps> Some berries. <gasps> I think that was poisonous. Look at those pretty butterflies. Wait, they're bees. I'm allergic to bees. Hey, Mr. Game Maker, are you filming this? Yeah. Okay, because I want to save this for later for when I have my reality TV show. Okay, so basically, Aries came up to me and he was like, uh, Aquarius, why would you shoot me? I was having my Kardashian moment. Aries, please don't stab me. I'm just trying to take a peaceful walk, okay? Uh, Aries. <gasps> Is that a snake? Oh, come here. You remind me of myself. <gasps> Did you just bite me? You're venomous. Y'all, I just made this amazing fire. It definitely won't let anyone know that I'm here. Hey, Virgo, how did you find me? I saw the fire. Oh. <laughs> Virgo, why would you stab me? <laughs> Was that a bear? Oh my goodness, run! Okay, y'all, only three more to go. Pisces, Libra, and... <gasps> Aquarius, did you just hit me with your axe? <gasps> Libra, why would you push me into the lake? You know I can't swim. That's why I'm an air sign and not a water sign. New rules. There can now be two victors. <gasps> Libra, did you hear that? That means we both won. <sniffs> did you just slice me with your sword? This is a solo, not a duet. So where's my money? Do I get paid or something? Look, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but there's like a whole person sleeping on my bed. And she looks like she's really depressed, so I think we should just leave this room to her. Oh my goodness, it looks like someone died in here. It's because they did. No, you will not catch me dead in a one-star hotel, that's for sure. You call this a hotel? This looks like the orphanage that Annie lived in. This place is so nice. Why does it only have one star? There's a dead body in the closet. There's a what? Oh my goodness, y'all. We gotta get out of here. Ew, there's a roach under the bed. We have got to go. Wait, is that a fridge? Hold on. We'll go in just a second. We gotta get this food. Oh my goodness, it smells like something curled up in one of these beds and died. Maybe if I close my eyes, it'll go away. <laughs> no.
Okay, so like this place is cute and all, but this looks like someone's actual bedroom. It is. Wait, so someone like lives here? Yeah, they should be home any minute. What? Is that a dead rat on my pillowcase? <laughs> oh, we gotta go. <laughs> Could you stop crying in my ear? Like you were literally sobbing all over me. Like there are tears running down my face and they aren't from me. They were loved by many, and they lived- Look, this funeral has been going on for 17 hours, and I don't think their life was that eventful, so can we just go ahead and wrap this up? This is really hard for me. I'm so sorry. Did you even know them? No, I didn't know them at all. I just- Funerals make me sad. They were kind, funny, and intelligent, and- No, 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 no. Everything that you just said was incorrect. This person was a roach, and they were a rat. I mean, y'all are saying rest in peace to them, but now that they're gone, I get to rest in peace. Why does their gravestone say loved by all? Because they were most certainly not loved by all. I mean, in fact, they were hated by all. I'm not gonna lie, this casket kind of looks hideous. I mean, it kind of matches what's on the inside, though. A hurricane's Wait, coming! Wait, what's the name of it? Hurricane Elsa. <gasps> Just like the Disney princess? Yes! I can't wait to meet her! When is she coming? I don't know! Does anybody else kind of want to go inside of a hurricane? No, because you could die! Okay, but do we really know that? Yes, we do. Now, come on, we have to go! Okay, fine. I just think we're missing out on a huge opportunity. No! A hurricane's coming? I have to go home and pack my stuff. I am not getting my clothes wet. <gasps> my kids! Where are my kids?! We have been driving for five hours trying to get away from this hurricane, and guess what? It is still behind us. I mean, that is fan behavior. But if I was a hurricane, I would want me too, so I can't really blame it. Hey, how are y'all doing? <laughs> how is the hurricane going to go through here and destroy every single building except for the school over there? I mean, that was the one building I wanted it to hit. To make a long story short, my house was the only one on my street that survived the storm. But I'm not mad. I hated my neighbors. I mean, they were roaches. As you can clearly see by Exhibit A, my house is literally bent. Like, how does that even happen? You always told me how you thought the upstairs was too small. But now look at it. We don't even have an upstairs because the Hurricane Elsa... The volcano's erupting! Wait, really? Oh my goodness, someone get their phone out and take a picture of me. Are you really gonna take a picture in the middle of this? Uh, yeah, this is like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You said we were hiking up a mountain, not a whole volcano. I said we were sightseeing. Sightseeing? Thanks to you, this will be the last sight we'll ever live to see! It is so hot. Thank you. I was talking about the volcano. Oh. I know there's like a volcano erupting and everything, but have any of y'all seen the bathroom? Because I need to make a volcanic eruption myself. A few moments later. Can someone please help me? Because when I said I wanted to play the floor is lava, I didn't mean it literally. Excuse me, can we like sweep the lava off of the road? You can't sweep lava. Well, I need to get to work. Where do you work that's still open? Um, Walmart is open 24 hours a day. Why did we have to move next to a whole volcano? I didn't know it was going to erupt. That's like pouring a bottle of water on yourself and then saying, Oh, I didn't think I would get wet. I think the volcano erupted. How did you guess? It Was it the fact that our driveway is now a river of lava? You told me we were going to a Taylor Swift concert, but does this look like Taylor Swift? I have to trick you into coming. Well, you don't have to trick me into leaving. I am out. Woo! Is that a ghost? No. You know what? I'll just stick with y'all. Where have you been? We've been looking for you everywhere. I was just playing with this teddy bear that I found. Wait, did you touch it? Uh, yeah, why? You could be possessed. I could be possessed? What? <laughs> y'all, I think I see the ghost of Prince Philip in the corner over there. I am not a ghost. This place just used to be a nursing home and they left me when they moved. My goodness. Look at that ghost. That right there is not a ghost. That is just someone who tragically needs a haircut. Hey, little ghost girl. She does not want to talk to you. No, she's just shy. Look, I have a coupon to this great hair salon. I can get you hooked up and everything. What? See, she's interested. Hey, so I'm the ghost of this house, and if y'all don't get out of here within the next 10 minutes, I will personally possess each and every one of you. No, I do not want to be possessed. Today is not the day. We gotta go. If the ghost wants to fight, then we can just fight. I mean, I'll fight a ghost. Come on, we just have to start the car. The car won't start. Really? Okay, I'll just call an Uber. We don't have cell phone service. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we're walking home. Y'all, that haunted house was nothing. If y'all want to see something haunted, then let's just go into the bathroom at Walmart.
Hi, is your name Cheryl? Yes, great. So I just want to let you know that that credit card that you gave us has no money on it whatsoever. So I suggest that since you're too broke to afford McDonald's, maybe you and your 2001 Nissan should drive over to Wendy's instead and see if you can afford them. That is not how we talk to customers. What? I'm telling the truth. So basically, Brian told her. He was like, I don't want to talk to her anymore. Excuse me. I would like to make an order if you would stop talking. And I want to be a millionaire and not have to work at McDonald's to make a living. But I guess we just don't get everything <gasps> that we want, do we? I am reporting you to your manager. Can you clean up the throw up that's on the floor? But it is not just on the floor. I mean, it is everywhere. It is on the ceiling. I mean, who did this? I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. You did this? You're like a five-year-old kid. I mean, I'm going to have to put caution symbols around the whole restaurant. I mean, we might just need to close down early. You need to go into the bathroom and just clean yourself out. Actually, it looks like you just cleaned yourself out around the whole restaurant. Watch your mouth. We do not talk to customers like what? that. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Y'all, this job is just so easy. Did you just drop the chicken nuggets? Well, it's okay. I'll just put them back in the tray. No, that's so unsanitary. Okay, who really cares? They're not gonna see. They could die of food poisoning. Hi, I'm the manager of this McDonald's establishment, and basically what I want to tell you is, um, you're fired for obvious reasons. Fired? No, I quit. That's not how it works. Well, that's how we're gonna make it work. I'm fired? No, the only thing that's giving fire tonight is this building. Is that a threat? No, it's a promise. Okay, I'm fired? Great. Can I go now? Wait, you're not upset? No, I'm just gonna go work at Chick-fil-A across the street. But I've never been fired before. Well, there's the first time for everything. The disrespect! It seriously smells like rat pee in here. I mean, where did you find this van? Behind the Dollar General? Yeah, maybe. Well, the only thing that could clean this is Mr. Clean himself. Um, Mr. Ice Cream Star, there is no ice cream back here. No, you're getting kidnapped. So does that mean there isn't any ice cream? Yes. But you said there was ice cream. Um, I was lying. Well, is there ice cream? Be quiet. Okay. Why is there so much wood back here? What did you do? Rob a Home Depot before you kidnapped me? Yeah, how did you know? It is so quiet. Can we play some music? No. Why? Because you're getting kidnapped. Okay, so does that mean we can't play music? No, I just don't like you. Ugh. One hour later. Hey, could you untie me, please? Why? Because if I call Pizza Hut within the next seven minutes, I'll get two cheese pizzas for free. And from the looks of it, you don't have any food. I mean, there's not even crumbs on the ground for the rats to eat. Could we start a fire? It's getting so cold in here. I already tried to start one. Okay, well, you have bricks in your fireplace. Um, is that a problem? Bricks don't start fires. If you're smart enough to kidnap someone, surely you're smart enough to start a fire. Am I the first person that you've ever kidnapped? Uh, yeah. Yay! Oh my goodness! Uh, why are you happy? Because I'm finally someone's first choice! Do you have a bathroom or something that I could use? No, I don't. I really have to go number two. I have a box of Clorox wipes. Clorox wipes? I mean, I guess I'll have to work. Come on in. Aww, thank you for inviting me. This place is just so nice. Was that a gunshot? I think I left my phone at home. Let me go get it. Brian, start the car right now. <laughs> We're getting out of here. They weren't supposed to kill him yet. They were supposed to wait till later. What did you just say? Oh, um, I meant... Oh my goodness, was that a gunshot? That is so shocking. Mm, this brownie is so good. Did you hear that? Did I hear what? The gunshot. Oh, um, no, I was too busy focused on these brownies. Run! Oh, they missed me. I'm over here. Um, where are we going? The police department because you're getting questioned. Oh, that is unfortunate. What is with this bright light? Can we turn it down? No. Okay, whatever. What's your question? Are you the murderer? Um, that's a tough question. It was not me. You have a gun in your hand. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Well, it's a water gun. What about the blood in your shirt? Um, Kool-Aid. I promise it's not me okay i don't want to go to jail you went to the bathroom right after the victim was shot what about it that doesn't seem suspicious well the gunshot really scared me and it made me have to poop united airlines i have just created the best slogan for you here listen here at united airlines we cannot be our competitors so we be our customers wow that was a good one spirit maybe yours should be the walmart of the skies Sorry I'm late, y'all, but there was a delay in the airport in Atlanta. 
Oh my goodness, Delta stays being delayed. I mean, have you ever made an on-time flight in your life? At least I don't have to lower my prices to get people to get on my plane. <clears throat> Spirit. Keep my name out of your disgusting Delta mouth. I mean, it's almost as disgusting as Southwest Airlines. My airplanes are probably the cleanest airplanes in the sky, unlike your flying tin cans. Y'all, there is no point in arguing. I mean, especially since everyone already knows that I'm the best. Sorry, I think you forgot the small little detail that I'm worth about 12 billion dollars more than you are. I'm obviously the best because I'm home to the original chicken sandwich. Yeah, you are, but you're also home to that Chick-fil-A sauce that could never even compare to my Zach sauce. Arby's, we have the meats. Oh, they have the meats. Okay, noted, okay. Well, I'm Burger King, and I have the crown, which basically means I've already won. Let's wrap it up. How could y'all possibly think that y'all are the best when I'm standing right next to y'all? I mean, I basically built fast food. If Dollar General was in the fast food business, its name would be McDonald's. That's why your logo looks like the red-headed version of Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Chick-fil-A, more like make me sick filet. That was the dumbest joke I've ever heard in my life. Oh, you want to see dumb, then just look in the mirror. Are y'all done? I mean, are y'all done? Because I'm ready to go. I'm ready to take my crown and go. I don't deal with this childish behavior. Two of the 12 Zodiac signs have just been <laughs> murdered. Who was the first one? Pisces. Somebody was rooting for Pisces' downfall, but they're not the only one who died. Aquarius died too. Dang. Somebody's got major beef with those two, but who found their bodies? Libra. Let's just say Libra's a little hashtag traumatized, but who's our investigator? Leo. Leo said, girl, I'm going to crack this case because I'm what? Sickening. Leo started pointing fingers and their first suspect of the night is... Scorpio. Scorpio did not take that too well. They're upset. But who's Leo's second suspect? Taurus. They said, Taurus, babes, you're shady. Okay, so we have our two suspects, but who does Leo end up arresting? Virgo. They said, Virgo. You're a little too blunt over there in that corner. So Virgo is arrested, but who is the actual murderer? Scorpio! It was Scorpio and they slipped by. Dang, Leo. Mm -mm. But the night is not over yet. Who gets revenge for Pisces and Aquarius? Cancer! Cancer said, girl, you're not about to hurt my two besties like that. And Scorpio was clocked. Two of our 12 Zodiacs have just been <coughs> murdered. Who was the first one? Scorpio! Looks like Scorpio made a wrong enemy somewhere, but who else was also killed? Gemini! No way. Somebody was sick of Scorpio and Gemini gossiping in the corner, but who found their bodies? Virgo found Gemini and Scorpio's bodies. I'm not gonna lie, that's really suspicious if you ask me. The 10 remaining Zodiacs are going feral, but this sign is gonna be the investigator. Aquarius! Aquarius said, I'm gonna crack this case. Everybody chill out, sit down, and calm down. Aquarius got straight to the point. Who is their first suspect? Aries! Aries is a little bit shady like that. But Aquarius isn't finished there. Who is their second suspect of the night? Capricorn! Aries and Capricorn, they will be the ones to do some murder. Okay, Aquarius has pointed their fingers, but this is who they ended up arresting. Aries! They said, Aries, you're shady, babes. You are shady. But it's time to find out the moment of truth. Who was the actual murderer? Pisces! Pisces wasn't even questioned, and they were the ones who actually killed Scorpio and Gemini? Crazy. But this is what it all comes down to. Who gets revenge for Gemini and Scorpio? Leo! Leo said, Pisces, you're not about to kill my fellow gossipers, Gemini and Scorpio, like that. Oh my god, where am I? I'm in the back of my van, now get quiet. No, the only thing we need to be getting is some bleach, or at least some Clorox wipes, because the back of this van is atrocious. It looks like a bomb blew up back here. Hey, uh, Mr. Kidnapper, uh, do you mind if we, like, stop and get some McDonald's? Are you not scared? <laughs> oh, no, this is, like, my fourth time being kidnapped. Be so for real right now. What? Everybody wants me. <laughs> oh my god, are you, like, really kidnapping me right now? Because it said Amazon on the side of the van, and I really wanted my package. Also, is this blood? Wait, so did you kidnap me because I'm, like, pretty or for some money? Oh, for that money, for oh, sure. Oh, you should drop me off right now because let me tell you, I got about two cents to my name, and I got, like, a gift card for a McChicken. That's about it. So you're telling me that you kidnapped me, and now I get to live in this mansion that's behind me for free, and I never have to pay a dime or get a job? Uh, yeah. <sighs> 
Look, if you're gonna kill me, can we just put some Nikki on in the background? Like, I would much rather be killed with style. Wait, for real? Yes, I would love to get killed with super base or starships in the background. Duh! Today we are ranking the zodiac signs on how mean they are. 12 being they are just a saint, and 1 being they are downright nasty. In 12th place, we have Libra. This is surprising to me. In 11th, we have Pisces. Turns out they have a heart of gold. In 10th, we have Taurus. And in 9th, we have Aquarius? This is definitely a hot take, but slay Aquarius. In 8th, we have Sagittarius. I'm not gonna lie, I thought Sag would be a lot higher on this list. In 7th, we have Gemini. I mean, they are referred to as the social butterfly of the group. In 6th, we have Cancer. Okay, I can believe this one. Okay, we're starting to get into the top five meanest signs. Number five is Leo. And number four, we have the notorious Virgo. Now, I don't think they're mean in like an ugly way. They're just mean and they're gonna be honest. They are not gonna lie to you. The third meanest sign out there is Aries. Mm -hmm. And number two, we have Capricorn. I'm a little surprised about this, but they do have very high standards for themselves and everyone around them. And number one, drum roll please, the meanest sign out there, Scorpio. Today I'm dishing you the least to most toxic zodiac sign. In 12th, the least toxic sign is Pisces. In 11th, we have Taurus. Kind of surprised. In 10th, we have Libra. I didn't know they were such a saint. In 9th, we have Capricorn. In 8th place, we have Virgo. One thing about them is they're going to tell you how it is. In 7th, we have Leo. I'm actually pretty surprised on this one. Okay, we're kind of starting to get more toxic, but 6th is Aquarius. Okay, we're up to the top five. We're starting to get to the tea servers. In fifth, we have Sagittarius. In fourth place, I really do love this sign, but they are known for their uncontrollable moods. We have Aries. And our third most toxic sign is Scorpio. Big shock there. And our second most toxic sign is Cancer. I'm not gonna lie, I am really surprised at this one. I actually don't know a lot of toxic Cancers. And number one, I didn't make the rules, it said this online, the number one most toxic sign is Gemini. This is what godly parent you would have based off of your zodiac sign. For Aries, that's an easy one, Aries, the god of war. For Taurus, that's going to be Hestia, the goddess of the hearth. For Gemini, that's going to be Athena, the goddess of wisdom, um, strategical warfare, and some of the arts. For Cancer, it's going to be Artemis, the goddess of the moon and the hunt. For Leo, it's going to be the king of the gods himself, Zeus, who is also the god of the skies. For Virgo, that's going to be Demeter, the goddess of agriculture. For Libra, that's going to be Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. For Scorpio, we're going to go with Hades, the god of the underworld. For Sagittarius, we're going to go with Dionysus, who is the god of wine and partying. For Capricorn, that's going to be Apollo, the god of the sun, um, also archery and healing and some of the arts. For Aquarius, that's going to be Hera, the queen of the gods and the goddess of marriage. And Pisces, that's going to be the god of the seas himself, Poseidon. Also, I just want to say, you as an individual could relate to any of the Greek gods. This is just what Greek god your zodiac as a whole kind of resembles. Ghost Stream Guts by Olivia Rodrigo right now. Welcome back to the fourth annual Zodiac Hunger Games. Who will take home the crown? Not Pisces. Pisces fell off their platform before the game started and went boom. Leo died next. Leo thought everybody was going to protect them because they're so iconic. But no. Capricorn died. Capricorn tried to clock their enemy Aries, but they, they lost. Aquarius. Aquarius ran into the woods and climbed up a tree. And then they fell off that tree and died. Sagittarius. 
Sagittarius got into a fight with their rival, Gemini, but Gemini won. Aries! Aries did a 1v2 with Libra and Virgo, but Libra and Virgo won. Libra! Apparently, right after the 1v2, Virgo went and killed Libra. Cancer! Now, Cancer was doing really good, and then they ate some poison berries and died. Virgo! Virgo already killed two other Zodiacs, and they said, let's kill Scorpio, and they lost. Gemini! Gemini was surprisingly the fan favorite, but then Scorpio killed her. Rue style. Scorpio! Taurus took revenge for Gemini and killed Scorpio, and that means Taurus is our winner of the fourth annual Zodiac Hunger Games. Here's your crown queen. Today I'm going to be ranking the zodiac signs based of how likely they would be to escape an escape room. Virgo! Okay, Virgo's like a, a five. Virgo gives like very like, like, I'm going to get the job done. Aquarius! Aquarius is like, uh, eight. I feel like Aquarius would try really hard in the beginning and then like completely give up. Scorpio! Okay, I think Scorpio is like a, a six. Scorpio will be the one looking at like the random crack on the wall and being like, that's a clue. Gemini! Gemini is like three. Escape rooms are designed by crazy people. And what is Gemini? Crazy. Libra? Okay, I think they're making it like four. Libra's gonna be the only one that actually sits there and reads the rules. Sagittarius. Okay, I think about 10. Sagittarius loved the idea of the escape room, but once they had to do work, they were like, eh. Cancer. 11th. <laughs> now, Cancer would have a great time, but their friends are gonna be the one making it out and they're just gonna sit there. Leo. Leo was gonna come like second. Leo is extremely competitive, not to mention they're going to be like, can you give us a clue? Pisces, uh, ninth? Pisces is going to be really focused, and then they're just going to, like, disassociate. Capricorn, I think they're seven. Capricorn would do a lot better if they were in the games by themselves, though. Taurus, Taurus is 12. Taurus is literally going to get so aggravated so quickly, it's crazy. Aries, okay. Aries won. Okay, they're gonna win this either by being extremely smart about it or just beating down the door and walking out because they're just over it. On the bottom, we have Taurus. Taurus is known to be a very stubborn sign and they love to bottle up all of their emotions and let it out all at once and read you to filth, which a lot of the other signs don't like. In fifth, we have Aries. Aries is known to have a short temper and they are easy to anger. And a lot of the other signs are scared of Aries, rightfully so. And fourth, we have Virgo. One thing about Virgo is they're going to tell you how it is. They are not going to hold anything back. They're going to read you to filth, which a lot of the other signs get afraid of. And third, we have Leo. Leo is known to have a main character complex, but honestly, they're just iconic and, you know, slay. But some of the other signs are annoyed of them. And second, we have Scorpio. Scorpio is known to not hold anything back either. They're, they can be seen as very manipulative, and they can use other signs to their advantage. But hey, I just think they're smart. But some of the signs don't like that. And first, we have, to no surprise, Gemini! I'm a Gemini too, but we are the most hated because we are seen as two-faced and, you know, indecisive. But... Okay, which of the X sign just got ugh, murdered at Leo's birthday party? Taurus! Oh my gosh, rest in peace, girl. Okay, so who found Taurus's body at Leo's birthday party? Gemini, oh my gosh. Okay, so which sign saw all this and was like, I'm gonna crack this case. I'm gonna be the detective. So Capricorn. Capricorn is gonna be a really good detective. So, who is Capricorn's first suspect? Pisces! Oh my gosh, what did they do? Okay, so Pisces is the first suspect. Who is Capricorn's second suspect? Virgo? Oh my gosh, they think something's shady going on. Okay, so we have Pisces and Virgo as the suspects, but who got arrested for the murder of Taurus? Gemini! Gemini found the body. Wow, wow. Gemini just got arrested, but who actually murdered Taurus? Leo? Leo got jealous of the attention that Taurus was getting at their birthday party, so they said, you thought. Okay, so Leo was the one that murdered Taurus. Who knew about it the whole time? Libra! Libra knew that Leo killed Taurus and helped Leo frame Gemini. Poor Gemini, honestly. It's time to find out which Zodiac sign just got murdered at Gemini's birthday party. Gemini! Oh my gosh, murdered at their own birthday party. Okay, who found Gemini dead at their own birthday party? Scorpio! Oh my gosh! Okay, so who sees this and is like, I'm gonna be the detective. Leo! Leo said, I'm gonna save my friend. I'm gonna take some vengeance. Okay, so Leo's the detective. Who was the first suspect? Sagittarius? You know, Gemini and Sag are opposite signs, so there you go. Okay, so Sag is looking a little bit sus, but who's the second suspect? Aries! You know, Aries 
Aries holds a grudge, okay? Okay, so let's find out who got arrested for the murder of Gemini. Leo, but Leo's the detective. Somebody framed Leo. Somebody got the detective in jail? Who actually murdered Gemini then? Aquarius? Aquarius had an agenda and they saw that Leo was about to crack the case so they said, you thought. Which zodiac sign knew about Aquarius killing Gemini the whole time? Capricorn, Capricorn was the right hand man. They, were, they knew it all along. Oh my goodness, y'all, the house is on fire. I was just trying to cook my Chick-fil-A in the microwave and then boom, it just happened. Like, what? What are we supposed to do in the fire? Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> Wrong, we have to run for our lives because I am not all about dying today. The only way for me to get down is to jump? Yes. I'm too emotionally unstable to do that right now. It's the only way. Okay, okay. Ah! Is there anyone else in the house? I don't know. It's like 4 a.m. I really don't know. Wait, my sister's in the house. Which room? I don't know. She has like stomach problems. So she's probably in the toilet. Do y'all think y'all could still save my house? A hundred percent of your house is on fire. So is that a no? Yes. <sighs> y'all, I knew I should have gotten house insurance. My house looks like a burnt marshmallow. Like what am I going to do? I can marry a millionaire. Why would y'all put me in the middle of the woods? I mean, are y'all trying to kill me? Yes. Yes, we are. Oh. Y'all, there was a bear chasing me, so I had to climb up this tree. I hope I don't- ah! Getting put in the Hunger Games was my last straw. I'm just gonna go jump off of a cliff. But you could win a lot of money. Money? <laughs> okay, let's get started. Who's first? <laughs> Did you just stab me? Yes. Well, could you at least help me get on the shore? Why would I do that? I don't want to die in a lake. I mean, who wants to die in a lake? Y'all, so I just found some berries in the woods, and I'm like 99% sure that they're poisonous. But I'm hungry, and there's always that 1%. <laughs> <coughs> Wait, so you're telling me that I could just clock someone from behind and I wouldn't get in trouble? Yeah, we want you to do that. I love the Hunger Games. Okay, who wants to get clocked first? Capricorn, how about you? No! You may now kiss the bride. Oh, I am never getting married. Wait, why? Because I don't want to kiss someone in front of my whole family. Like, that is embarrassing. Right. I am so jealous that she's getting married before me. Oh my like, goodness. Katie. What? We get it. The whole room gets it. You're single and nobody wants you. Now sit down. This is not about you. Are there any objections? Ooh, I object. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. You better stop. You're gonna ruin the wedding. Look, I had to spice things up. I mean, no one wants a boring wedding. Who? am I late? You were literally three hours late. I had to stop through McDonald's to get a Big Mac because I was hungry. Anyways, could y'all two get back up there and get married? I missed it. Are you kidding? I'm so sorry. Ooh, this place is nice. How could you afford this? My fiance is really rich. Well, don't you want to share some of that to charity? Ooh, what charity? Oh, um, there's this one called um My Wallet. Mm-hmm. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to get up here and congratulate the two people that got married today because y'all really showed me that no one will ever love me as much as y'all love each other. <laughs> um, are you okay? No, someone just take the microphone, okay? <laughs> I am so sorry that you have to go through that. I mean, that is so terrible. Oh, time's up. Are you going to be paying with debit or credit? Wait, but I'm not finished. Yeah, your time is up. You got to go. I'm not, no. He broke up with me for the 17th time last night. Okay, okay, okay. Imagine something with me. Imagine that you just built a bridge. Now get over it. I told you last week not to get back together with him. And now you're broken up for the 17th time. How do you even date someone for 17 times? My life is just so hard. No, my life is really hard too. And I know that I'm supposed to be your therapist, but oh my goodness. Can we talk about me for a second? I mean, this is just so hard. So my dog drowned in a kiddie pool this past week? <laughs> Wait, are you laughing at me? No, no, I'm laughing at um the starfish on the window back there. Sure you are. Okay, anyways, go ahead. Right, so my sister got slingshotted off of a roller coaster. <laughs> Are you seriously laughing at me? Oh That's it. I'm leaving. Wait, where are you going? You are so terrible. <laughs> Y'all, I just dropped my phone into the water. What do I do? Put it in some rice. Right, we have to find rice. Wait, why don't we just put the whole boat in rice and it won't sink? That's such a good idea. I am such a genius. Can someone please explain to me why they're playing violin in the middle of a ship sinking? I mean, this is life or death, not a band concert. I didn't know the Titanic could bend like that. She is an acrobat. <laughs> oh, she just cracked in half. Uh, never mind, y'all. She, she is not an acrobat. 
Oh my gosh, I hope we can get a lifeboat in time. But I think they're full. No, they'll save me a seat. I'll sit on their laps if I have to. Come on, we have to go. But the elevators aren't working. Wait, so what do we do? We have to take the stairs. No, no, I'll, ju I'll just stay down here. But you could die, though. Look, I don't feel like walking up eight flights of stairs right now. I'll do it when I feel like it. Wake up. Wake up. What? The ship is sinking. I am fully aware of that. Then why are you laying in the bed? I want to die doing something that I love. Sleeping. Get up. You are coming with me. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Look, you be you and I'll be me. Good night. Get out. The only thing more unstable than your economy is that San Andreas fault line that you're sitting on. I literally carry this country. Meanwhile, all you carry is fleas and whatever disease your side of the country has. The only thing that the West Coast carries is all of its trash into the ocean. We literally have Hollywood! And all you have is Dollywood. Oh, you won't have Hollywood for long because it'll probably get burnt down by one of your forest fires. <coughs> what about the Gulf Coast? Be quiet. No one was talking to you. Right. They are so irrelevant. I mean, they probably just want to be us. I wouldn't want to be you if you were the last plot of land on this earth. You know what, West Coast? I have had it. First things first. I'm sorry. Is that ghost over there trying to scare me? Because it's not working. Let me try to scare you. <laughs> oh my goodness. If my soul was a house, it would be this house. Oh no, I'm not scared of ghosts or anything like that, because there's a little known fact about me. I can actually see dead people. I mean, like, literally right now, I can see Prince Philip standing in the corner over there. I'm sorry, did you say this was a haunted house? Because the only thing haunting in this house is the fact that I'm gonna get lung cancer in the next five years from breathing in this air. Oh my goodness, I'm totally living for this vintage house right now. I mean, like, on a scale of one to haunted, this place is like the Buckingham Palace. I mean, that place is haunted, right? Oh, did you say there was a ghost in here? Okay, okay. Right, so I'm gonna head out. I'll see y'all later. Love y'all. What do you want me to do? We're in a haunted house. Okay, well, could you take me to the haunted bedroom so I could take a haunted nap? Oh my goodness, what is this place? I mean, is that a dead rat over there? This place is more crusty than the cell phone department at a Walmart. Get me out of here and get me out of here right now. I don't do ghosts. I don't do spirits. I don't do demons. I don't do any of that. Casper! Casper, where are you? Come out, let's play a game. I'm ready. These ghosts think they can kill me? I'd like to see them try. I'm immortal. Y'all think this is scary? No, this is luxury. I am finally home. Where do I sign up to be a ghost? Sign me up. Look, I'm obviously the best date because I'm the most iconic. <laughs> oh, please. The only thing you're known for is Kentucky Fried Chicken, which, by the way, tastes like rat poisoning. And the only thing you're known for is... Nothing. Exactly. Nothing. And I'm known for Harvard, so... Oh, really? Get on my level. I'm known for being the capital of the U.S. Washington, D.C. isn't even a state. Delaware? More like Della who? Who are you? Oh, Delaware's a roach, just like you, West Virginia. Well, anytime someone sees the name of my state, they just think of Hannah Montana. Well, anytime someone sees the name of my state, they just think Mexico, but newer. Whenever someone sees the name of my state, they're like, oh my gosh, luxurious, stunning, stellar, 10 out of 10, 100%, I could never. The lies upon lies, the deceitfulness. Y'all are such animals, grow up. Imagine being the least populated state, and it's probably because you're dry, boring, and desolate. <coughs> Wyoming. Oh really? You wanna go there? I'm known for Yellowstone National Park, and you're known for a racetrack. Y'all. My name is obviously Maine, because I'm the main character up in here. M main character? No, you're not even an extra. Look, I don't know about you, but I run this show. The U.S. would be nothing without me. What do you have, New Jersey? A Jersey Shore? Yeah, that's about it. Wow, I'm glad I'm not in this, you know, just chillin'. You also must have been just chilling when it took you two and a half weeks to count your ballots for the 2020 election. Um, I have my reasons. North Dakota, do you see how roachful Nevada is? You're that times ten. Uh, that is so disrespectful. How do I say this? You're literally the Tony Lopez of vampires.
Okay, well, at least I don't go into a deep state of depression or become a mass murderer every time Elena chooses me over you. Oh, please. The only reason that she fell for you in the first place was because you sired her. Look, if I was in your position, I would be, you know, sad and depressed too because I'm the star, I'm stunning, stellar, and you're just... leftovers. I mean, can you even control your anger? Because so far you've killed Lexi, snapped Jeremy's neck, left Enzo to die, abused Caroline, and turned Bonnie's mom. You want to talk about people getting killed? No. Let's talk about the thousands upon thousands of people that you've killed every time you go on a mass homicide killing spree. How about we talk about the fact that you have been in love with Catherine for 147 years? You must be blind or something because you were in love with her too. Oh my gosh, West Coast, I can smell your pollution from over here. Are you talking about that trashy smell? Yeah, it's coming from you. I don't know how you can smell anything with all of that smoke stuck up your nose from your wildfires. Oh, please. We have survived huge earthquakes and huge tsunamis while you can barely survive a hurricane or a tornado. Look, think of it like this. I'm the OG coast and you're just the coast that everyone wants to forget about. Literally everything we have is better than you. You have New York and we have LA. You have Niagara Falls and we have the Grand Canyon. You have the Appalachian Mountains and we have the Rocky Mountains. Get with it. What about us, the Great Lakes Coast? Great Lakes? Um, I might as well just be named irrelevant. Um, New York, when are you planning to confess that I'm the best eastern state? Um, probably not ever, because I don't like telling lies. Look, you're just mad because there's not one thing that you have that I don't already have. Um, I think New York City speaks for itself. Um, you better be glad that you have New York City, because the rest of your state? <laughs> I would be ashamed if I were you. No, no, no. Our whole state is, is 10 out of 10. I mean, New York City is just like the rest of the state. <laughs> Um, New York. Just accept that you lost. Oh, shut up, New Jersey. What city do you have? Imagine giving Dove Cameron two roles because one role just wasn't enough for her. Um, because our show is filled with icons. Your show is just filled with questy background singers. You're just mad because you didn't have Rainy Rodriguez. Listen to this bop. Be as one. That is a strong message. Um, we probably can't compete with Rainy Rodriguez. Uh, yes, we can. We were the best comedy show. Meanwhile, I couldn't tell if you were a comedy, a romance, a drama, a horror. We didn't know. Um, we were in the genre called iconic. Um, that's a lie. You may not have been as trashy as Dog with a Blog, but you were still trash. Liv and Maddie, be quiet. You don't have Rainy Rodriguez, therefore you lose. Um, South Korea, why is my name in your mouth? Um, I didn't say your name. Mm -mm. You must be deaf. You must be Helen Keller. Um, South Korea, we all heard you say his name. Even China heard you say his name. Mm-hmm, you most definitely said it. Um, what if I did say it? It's not like I'm scared of you. Um, you may not be scared of me, but I bet that you are scared of an atomic bomb. Oh, please, you have more chances of terrorizing your citizens than terrorizing me. You're just mad because I'm one of the quietest nations, and I'm still talked about more than you are. I mean, you are almost irrelevant, South Korea. I know y'all are lying. This is what would happen if the zodiac signs fought their opposite signs. First up, we got Aries versus Libra. Now, this is an extremely close one, and Libra is super intellectual, but in a street fight, Aries is winning. Next, we have Taurus versus Scorpio. Now, I love you, Taurus. I love everything that you represent, but Scorpio is squashing you. Next, we have Gemini versus Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius is an extremely feisty one, but Gemini is just the right person that they should not be messing with. Gemini's winning. Next, we got Cancer versus Capricorn. Now, Cancer has a high chance of beating Capricorn, but Capricorn's just gonna clock that T and gather Cancer, I'm sorry. Next, we have Leo versus Aquarius. Some egos are gonna be bruised in this matchup, but I'm actually gonna lean more towards Leo. And finally, the heavyweight championship has arrived. We have Virgo versus Pisces. 
I'm actually gonna go with Virgo on this one because I feel like they would come out the most unscathed. But Pisces could easily win. But I'm just gonna go with Virgo for today. Welcome back to another zodiac sign battle. Today we have Sagittarius versus all of the zodiac signs. First up, we got Sagittarius versus Aries. Now, I love you, Sag, but Aries is clearing. Next, we have Sagittarius versus Taurus. I'm gonna go with Sagittarius. Next, we have Sagittarius versus Gemini, who is their opposite sign. I think Gemini takes this. Now we have Sagittarius versus Cancer. I'm gonna go back to Sagittarius. Next, we have Sagittarius versus Leo. This is really, really close. So I'll go with Sagittarius. But now we have Sagittarius versus Virgo. I'm gonna go with the Virgo. And now we got Sagittarius versus Libra. Okay, um, we'll go with um Sagittarius. Now we got Sagittarius versus Scorpio. We'll go with Scorpio. And now we have Sagittarius versus Capricorn. I'm gonna have to go with Capricorn. Now we got Sagittarius versus Aquarius. We'll go with Sagittarius. And finally, we have Sagittarius versus Pisces. I'm actually gonna go with Pisces on this one. Okay, Sagittarius did a pretty good job. Now, if you have any video ideas, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Bye! This is what would happen if Leo fought all of the Zodiac signs. First up, we got Leo versus Aries. Now, this is a close one because they're both fire signs, but it's gotta be Leo. Now, we got Taurus versus Leo. I'm sticking with Leo. But now, we got Gemini versus Leo. I'm gonna have to go with Gemini. And next we have Cancer versus Leo. I'm gonna go back to Leo with this one. They're gonna clock Cancer. And now we got Leo versus Virgo. Virgo. Next we have Leo versus Libra. This is a really close one. We'll go ahead and give it to Libra. Now we got Leo versus Scorpio. I'm actually gonna go with Scorpio. But now we got Leo versus Sagittarius, the other fire sign. We're gonna give it to Leo. And now we got Leo versus Capricorn. This is a very interesting one. I'm actually gonna lean with Leo. Now we got Leo versus Aquarius. This is also a close one, but let's go ahead and give it to Leo. And finally, last but not least, we have Leo versus Pisces. I'm gonna give it to Leo. Okay, they did pretty good. Slay Leo, y'all better work. Comment down below which sign I should do next. Welcome back to Zodiacs on Big Brother. Last week, Leo was sent packing, but one of the evicted Zodiacs is returning to the house today. Hey guys, I know you missed me. It's me, Pisces. I'm back in the house. Ah! I am so glad Pisces is back in the house. I am so tired of being the only water sign in this house. But I gotta tell y'all something. I won HOH. As HOH, I get to nominate two of the house guests for eviction. I choose to nominate Libra and Aquarius. There's no way all three air signs are still in this game. One of y'all has got to go. You know, jealousy is the root of all evil. That's all I'll say. Look, I don't care that Scorpio nominated me because I'm going to win that veto and save myself. I literally just came back in the house and I've already won the veto. Isn't this like amazing? Like I'm literally so iconic. All right, house guests, since I have won the power of veto, I can choose to save one of the nominees. I choose to not save anyone. Sorry, water signs unite. Well, all right, everyone, it is time to vote. Who will be going home, Libra or Aquarius? Hey guys, it's Aries. I vote to evict Aquarius. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Gemini. I vote to evict Aquarius. Hey girls, it's Virgo. I vote to evict Aquarius. Hey, it's Pisces. I sadly vote to evict Aquarius. By a unanimous decision of four to zero, I'm evicted. Girl, I thought we were friends. What happened to that? This is what would happen if Pisces fought all of the zodiac signs. First up, we got Pisces versus Aries. Now, I'm actually gonna go with Pisces on this one. I think they could clock Aries. Now, Pisces versus Taurus, I think I'm gonna go with Taurus. Pisces versus Gemini, I think I'm gonna go with Gemini. But Pisces versus Cancer, oh, that's gonna be Pisces. And now we got Pisces versus Leo. Now, this might be surprising, but I'm sticking with Pisces. Now we got Pisces versus Virgo. I'm gonna stick with Pisces. But now we got Pisces versus Libra. I'm actually gonna go with Libra on this. But now we got Pisces versus Scorpio. I'm sticking with Pisces on this. Okay, and now we got Pisces versus Sagittarius. No surprise here, Pisces cleared. But now we got Pisces versus Capricorn. I think that Pisces beats Capricorn in this. And finally, we got Pisces versus Aquarius. Now this is a very interesting one. It's gonna be a very close one, but I think it's gonna be Pisces. Okay, Pisces did pretty good. Now comment down below which sign you want to see fight all the Zodiacs next. This is what would happen if Gemini fought all of the other Zodiac signs. First, we got Gemini versus Aries. Now, this is a really close one, but I'm gonna go with Gemini. And now we got Gemini and Taurus. This is also a pretty close one, but I'm sticking with Gemini. Now we got Gemini and Cancer. And Cancer can get that rage in them, but for right now, I'm gonna stick with Gemini. 
Next, we got Gemini versus Leo. Now, I'm actually gonna go with Leo on this one because Leo knows how to make Gemini angry. Next, we got Gemini versus Virgo. I'm going back to Gemini. And we got Gemini versus Libra. Again, I'm sticking with Gemini. But now we got Gemini versus Scorpio. This is very interesting. I'm actually going to lead more towards Scorpio on this one. And now we got Gemini versus Sagittarius. Um, yeah, Gemini. But now we got Gemini and Capricorn. I think I'm going to have to go with Capricorn on this one. Okay, now we got Gemini and Aquarius. I'm going back to Gemini. And finally, we have Gemini and Pisces. I'm going to stick with Gemini. Okay, Gemini actually, A. Hey, okay, only last three. Okay, comment down below which sign I should do next. This is what would happen if Capricorn fought all of the zodiac signs. First up is Capricorn versus Aries. Now, this is a really close one, but I think Capricorn wins. Next, we have Capricorn and Taurus. Now, this is a really close one. I think Taurus wins. Next, we have Capricorn and Gemini. I think Capricorn wins. And then we got Capricorn and Cancer. This is an extremely close one. I think Capricorn wins. Next, we got Capricorn and Leo. This is easy. Capricorn wins. Next, we got Capricorn and Virgo. I think Virgo wins. And now we got Capricorn and Libra. I think Capricorn wins this one. And then we got Capricorn and Scorpio. I think Capricorn wins this. Now we got Capricorn and Sagittarius. I think Capricorn wins. And now we got Capricorn versus Aquarius. Now this is a close one. I actually think Aquarius wins this. And now we got Capricorn versus Pisces. Now this is a very interesting matchup. I think Capricorn wins. Okay, Capricorn did a really good job. Let me know in the comments which zodiac I should do next. Today, the zodiac signs are finding their least compatible zodiac sign. First up, we have Aries. And Aries is the least compatible with Cancer. So I love you, Cancer, but Aries is winning. Next up, we have Taurus, and they're the least compatible with Aquarius. Now, this is a close one. I think Aquarius comes out with the W. Next, we have Gemini, and Gemini is surprisingly the least compatible with Virgo. Um, I feel like this one would also be a close one, but I think Gemini just kind of overwhelms Virgo a little bit too much, so I think Gemini won. Next, we have Leo, and Leo is the least compatible with Scorpio. Now, if Leo was going up against any other sign, they'd probably win, but Scorpio... Scorpio is crazy! I think Scorpio wins. Next up, we have Libra, and Libra is least compatible with Capricorn. Now, I do think this would be a very, very close one, and if this was an intellectual competition, Libra would be taking the W, but I have to give it to Capricorn. And finally, we have Sagittarius, and they're the least compatible with Pisces. Now, Pisces can get real mad and upset, but Sagittarius just don't play when it comes to them. So I feel like Sagittarius wins, but it's like a barely win. Like, it could have been a top. Today, we're ranking the zodiac signs based off of their anger issues. So at the bottom, I'm immediately putting Aquarius, Libra, and Cancer. Now, don't get me wrong, they're gonna get angry, but they're never gonna let you see them be angry. Next, we have Pisces, Virgo, and Capricorn. Now, those three, they can definitely go crazy in the anger department, but they're gonna be the ones that kind of like, ooh, have that little eye twitch and be like, we're gonna talk about this later. Next is Gemini, Taurus, and Leo. Now, they don't always pop off, but trust, if you provoke them enough, they are going to read you to filth, and you're gonna wish you never spoke to them. And in third place, I gotta put Sagittarius. Sagittarius has a very, like, particular way they want things, and if it's not that way, they tend to get a little angry. Number two is Scorpio. Scorpio definitely has that rage in them, and if you try them, girl, World War Three. And at number one, to no one's surprise, I have Aries. You could literally look at them the wrong way, and they are going to pop off on you. Blow up. Run. Today, the zodiac signs are fighting. Who is our first contestant? Capricorn! Okay, so who is Capricorn gonna be fighting today? Aries! Okay, guys, I'm so sorry, but Aries is winning. Aries is winning. Okay, it's time for round two. Who is our first contestant? Taurus! Alright, Taurus is our first contestant. We got this, but who's our second contestant? Pisces, y'all. Pisces is winning, I'm sorry. Oh, the drama is getting hot. We are down to round three. Who's our first contestant? Leo, okay. Who is Leo gonna be fighting today? Scorpio. Oh, this is a tough one, girls. But I think, I think Scorpio comes out with the win. All right, so now we're down to round four. Who's our first contestant? Gemini. All right, let's find out. Who is gonna be fighting Gemini? Virgo. This is a tough one. 
Gemini's clock in Virgo. We are down to round five. Who is our first contestant gonna be? Aquarius, okay. So who's gonna be fighting Aquarius in round five? Cancer, girl, I'm sorry, but Aquarius is winning, I fear. Okay, we're down to round six. Who is contestant number one? Libra, okay. Okay, so who's gonna be fighting Mrs. Libra today? Sagittarius, girl. Ooh, this is a close one, but Libra, I think you ate this one. Guys, one of the zodiac signs was literally just kidnapped. Who was it? Aries! Oh my god, girl, I am so sorry. Okay, but here's the real question. Who was Aries last seen with? Capricorn! Okay, I have a few questions for Capricorn. Who is going to be our investigator and crack this case? Sagittarius. Sagittarius is going to find their fellow fire sign. Okay, so Sag has started pointing fingers. Who is their first suspect? Cancer! Okay. But Sagittarius is not done there. Who's their second suspect? Scorpio! Oh my gosh, what did they do? So Cancer and Scorpio are our suspects, but who gets arrested? Aquarius got arrested? Oh my god. So Aquarius gets arrested and locked up, but who is the actual kidnapper? <gasps> Aquarius! Oh my god, justice was served! Now it's time to find out which Zodiac found Aries and saved the day. Taurus! Taurus found their bestie Aries and said, girl, I'm here to save you, girl. So Aries has been saved, but who gets revenge on Aquarius? Gemini! Gemini busted into that prison and molly -whopped Aquarius. They said, you're not about to hurt my bestie. Hello and welcome back to the Zodiac Signs on Big Brother. Last week, Sagittarius was blindsided and sent home, but who will be sent home tonight? Let's find out. Hey everyone, it's Aries. We just had the head of household competition where the winner gets to nominate two of the Zodiacs for eviction. And guess who won? Of course, me. Look everyone, I'm gonna make this plain and simple. My first nominee is Gemini because they're a snake. And my second one is Leo because all they do is start drama. Oh, I'm the snake? Hmm, at least I'm not like you, but like a hippo. It's all just fan behavior. They nominate me because I'm an icon and they can't stand it. Hey everyone, all of the Zodiacs just played in the veto, and I just won the power of veto. Since I have the power to save one of the nominees, I choose to use the power of veto on myself. I'm so sorry. Since one of my nominees has been vetoed, I choose to nominate Cancer, because they've been on the block like eight times now, and it's kind of embarrassing at this point. All right, Zodiacs, it is time to vote who will be going home, Gemini or Cancer? Hey everyone, this is Leo, and I cast my vote to evict Cancer because Gemini just makes me laugh. This is Virgo, and I vote to evict Cancer. This is Libra, and I sadly vote to evict Cancer. This is Scorpio, and I vote to evict Gemini. I love you, but Cancer is my water sign, girly. This is Aquarius, and air signs gotta stick together, so I vote to evict Cancer. Well, by a vote of four to one, I am evicted. Woo! Wow! Who didn't see that one coming? But all is not over yet. One of the evicted zodiac signs might be returning tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back to my Get Ready With Me in prison. Shh, we have to be quiet. So we're gonna start out with this Japanese cherry What are you talking to? Oh, this is like a little brick I found outside. Why is the brick glowing? Um, it's like one of those new exclusive uh -uh, bricks, you know? Uh-uh, uh-uh, give me that cell no, phone No, right oh my now. god! Wait, so this is my room yeah don't you love it girl this is like the rustiest thing i've ever seen if i sit on that bed it's gonna break it's got more rust on it than like the titanic at the bottom of the ocean well maybe you shouldn't have stolen fifteen thousand. okay well y'all could have used that fifteen thousand dollars to maybe get me a nicer room oh my god guys i'm trying to like escape through the sewers but i'm so lost right now ew i think i just touched something wet that was so gross oh my god i'm gonna throw up oh my god hey guys today we're gonna be trying the prison juice let's taste it why does that taste like piss? Where did you get this? Oh, at that table over there. You got it from this bottle right here? John just pissed in that earlier. No way. Oh my god, guys, I gotta go. Oh, I'm in the room with these two. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. So do I have to wear these orange, like, little outfits y'all got, or can I wear something pink, you know? Nope, it's gotta be the orange. Y'all really don't have, like, a pink outfit? Do I look like I'm playing But with pink you? would look so much better. Y'all are literally so extra. I literally ran one red light and y'all put me in this maximum prison facility. You ran one red light and ran through a school and killed like 80 people and started a fourth Conspiracies, fight. lies upon lies. You cannot prove that. 
Starting off, we got Katie Heron. Katie Heron is definitely a Libra or a Virgo. Um, Katie comes off as like this really sweet and innocentness, and then she turns out to be the queen diva herself. Next, we got Karen, and Karen is gonna be Pisces and Taurus. Karen is not all about the drama herself, but trust and believe she will be sitting there watching with her bag of popcorn. Next up, we have Gretchen Wieners herself, the Grand Diva. So, she is definitely a Gemini and Aquarius. They just suck in all this information. Their hair is so big, it is full of secrets, they can clock the tea. Next up, we got Mrs. Janice Ian. Now, this is going to be Aries and Capricorn. They have a high temper and light Janice. They do not like people like Regina who think they're better than everybody else. Next, we have Mrs. Damien, and the tea about this is Damien is going to be Sagittarius and Cancer, and that's because they're not going to be in the drama themselves, but they are going to sit there and watch the world burn. And the moment y'all have all been waiting for, we got Mrs. Regina herself, Mrs. Regina of the Georges. This is easily going to be Leo and Scorpio. Leo, because she's got that main character energy, and she's that it girl, and Scorpio, because girl, she knows all your secrets, and she can light you up like that. Two Zodiac signs were just killed at Leo's birthday party. Who were they? Scorpio was one of them. Okay, so Scorpio got clocked, but who else was killed at Leo's birthday party? Gemini, oh my god. The Gemini and Scorpio hate today is awful, but who found their bodies? Sagittarius, okay. So Sagittarius found their bodies, but this sign was like, I'm going to be the investigator. Aquarius said, I'm an air sign, I'm going to solve this case. Aquarius is looking around the room and said, hey, you're my first suspect. Cancer, they said, Cancer, you're looking shady. But Aquarius was not done there. Who is their second suspect? Themselves? Looks like Aquarius is having some internal conflict, but who did Aquarius end up arresting? Virgo! So Virgo got arrested? Oh my gosh! So Virgo ended up falling for all of it, but who was the actual murderer? Taurus! Dang, Taurus really clocked them like that, but who knew about it the entire time? Pisces! Pisces knew about it and they didn't say nothing! Here's what it all comes down to. Who got revenge for Scorpio and Gemini? Libra! Libra said, you're not about to hurt my besties like that, and Libra went over there to Taurus and said, clocked. Today we are starting a new series, If the Zodiac Signs Were on Big Brother. All of the Zodiacs just had a competition to see who would be the head of household, and I just won. I mean, obviously I won, but now it's the tough decision. I have to decide which two of my fellow Zodiacs I have to nominate for eviction. Okay guys, it's time for me to reveal who I have nominated. I have chosen to nominate Capricorn and Scorpio. I am so sorry. No way Virgo just nominated me. We're both Earth Signs. I thought we were supposed to like stick together. You know, I'm not going to get upset at this. I'm going to use this to fuel my rage, and I'm going to win that veto. So the veto winner has an opportunity to save one of the nominees that have been nominated. And this week, Gemini, Libra, and Sagittarius were asked to play in it. But who ended up winning? Of course, me, Scorpio. Duh. So obviously, I want to use the power of veto to save myself from nomination. Anyways. Since Scorpio has won the power of veto and saved themselves for tonight, um, I have chosen to nominate Cancer. I am so sorry. Girl, did they just nominate me? I'm about to blow up! The time has come for everyone to place their votes on if they want Cancer or Capricorn to get evicted. I'm Aries, and I sadly choose to evict Cancer. I'm Taurus, and I want to stay strong with our Earth sign, so I have to evict Cancer. I'm Gemini, and me and Cancer are besties. I'm so sorry, girl, but Capricorn, I'm voting to evict you. I'm Leo, and I'm sorry, girl, but I gotta evict you, Capricorn. I'm Libra, and I'm so sorry, but I have to evict Capricorn. I'm Scorpio, and I'm gonna stay strong with my water sign, so Capricorn, I'm voting to evict you. This is Sagittarius. Sorry, I vote to evict Cancer. This is Aquarius. I vote to evict Capricorn. Hey, this is Pisces, and I sadly vote to evict Capricorn. I just cannot vote out a fellow water sign. By a vote of six to three, I have been evicted. And who was the one who nominated me? Virgo, a fellow Earth sign. I, this is Shay D. Who will go home next? Find out on episode two of Big Brother Zodiacs. Today, I'm ranking the Zodiac signs based off of how long they would survive in a horror movie. At the bottom, I have Aquarius, Taurus, and Sagittarius. Now, I love them, but they would be dying first. But they would not die easily. They would, like, make it a whole entire production, a whole show. they make it entertaining. Next, we have Pisces, Aries, and Scorpio. Now, they're actually most likely the killer themselves, but if they aren't in this scenario, they would be dying because they would probably try to fight the killer themselves or just do something really just on the whim and not really think anything through. 
Next, we have Cancer, Gemini, and Libra. Y'all three would be the heartthrobs of the movie. The, like, y'all would be the one that's like, oh my god, they're gonna be the final girl. And then all of a sudden, they just got <coughs> chopped. And everybody's like, no! Oh my god, it's so sad! In third place, we have Capricorn. One thing about a Capricorn, they don't play when it comes to scariness. They hear one little creak, they're running or grabbing a weapon. In second place, we have Virgo. They would be the ones to actually be able to fight a killer and win. But Virgo is just so out there. They would be like thinking so like logically about what the killer is going to do. And number one is Leo. Now, the, I am not saying Leo's number one because of their survival instincts. I just think they would be the one that's like, oh my god, I made it out. And everybody's like no way they're the one that won no way like leah would be that final girl they give fi final girl energy welcome back to our zodiac murder mystery it's time to find out which two zodiacs have died aquarius girl you have been murdered but aquarius is not the only unlucky one tonight the other one who was murdered is sagittarius well aquarius and sagittarius have been eliminated it's time to find out who found the body capricorn capricorn always finds the body i swear they are always watching this sign said, hey guys, I'm the best, so I'm going to be the investigator. Gemini, Gemini said, guys, I've got this one in the bag. Gemini says, hey, this is my first suspect of the night. Cancer, they said, Cancer, you're a shady girl. But best believe Gemini is not done there. Who is their second suspect? Aries, they said, Aries, your rage has been getting a little out of hand recently. Here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Who does Gemini end up to arresting? Pisces. Go whoa all right now here is the moment we've all been waiting for who is the actual murderer capricorn girl it is always them now it's time to figure out which zodiac knew about it the entire time and didn't say a thing taurus oh my god taurus said mm -mm, these lips are sealed but who gets revenge virgo virgo said girl you're not gonna hurt my bestie sag and aquarius like that now hello today i am ranking the zodiac signs based off of how nice they are I promise, I love all the signs equally, but the bottom is going to have to be Scorpio, Capricorn, and Aries. I'm sorry, but they are really nice when you first meet them, but if you're not in their inner circle of friends, they're not going to reach out to you. Next, we have Virgo, Leo, and Cancer. Now, these three signs are pretty approachable, but you kind of have to earn their kindness. They kind of have to see a reason for them to be kind to you. Next, we have Gemini, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. Now, these three signs tend to be social butterflies and make friends really quickly. But these three can also be extremely judgmental, so that's why they're a little bit lower. In third, we have Taurus. Now, Taurus may not be the nicest, but they are the warmest. They kind of feel like a warm hug because they're so incredibly genuine. And next, in second, we have Pisces. Now, this one might be a surprise, but the reason why they are so nice is because they're so adaptable and they can really listen to each person's specific needs. And number one, the kindest sign is Libra. Now, I understand. I know some mean Libras myself, but overall, the sign is the sign of peacekeeping. In a group setting, Libras are always going to try to make sure everybody feels comfortable and everybody is, like, okay. So, that sounds pretty kind to me. This is each zodiac sign's biggest pet peeve. Aries' biggest pet peeve is definitely not being taken as seriously as they should be. Now, Taurus's is when people don't listen to what they have to say. Like, just give them a chance. Gemini's is when they prove themselves and then continue to be underestimated. Cancer's biggest pet peeve is other people getting a lot of credit for things they did not do nor deserve. Leo's biggest pet peeve is having a boss or somebody telling them what to do that is less qualified than them. Virgo's biggest pet peeve is people that are messy and just unorganized and they're just downright nasty. Libra's biggest pet peeve is whenever they get secondhand embarrassment from other people acting a fool. Scorpio's biggest pet peeve is whenever people refer to them as master manipulators when really they're just playing the game. They're just smarter. Sagittarius' biggest pet peeve is whenever people leave them out of plans. They always want to be included. Capricorn's pet peeve is really just stupid people. Like, just be smart. Like, just don't do dumb stuff. Like, Aquarius's biggest pet peeve is whenever people are just so annoying. Like, girl, calm down. It's never that serious. Pisces' biggest pet peeve is being discredited for the amount of work that they've done. Like, they work so hard for something and then people are just like, mm, okay. Let's see what would happen if Aquarius fought all of the Zodiac signs. First up, we got Aquarius versus Aries. Let's go with Aquarius. Now we got Aquarius versus Taurus. I'm sticking with Aquarius. Now we got Aquarius versus Gemini. I'm going with Gemini. 
Now we got Aquarius versus Cancer. I'm gonna go with Cancer. Next, we got Aquarius versus Leo. I'm going back to Aquarius. Now we got Aquarius versus Virgo. I think I'm gonna stick with Aquarius. Aquarius versus Libra. I'm sticking with Aquarius. But now we got Aquarius versus Scorpio. I'm going with Scorpio. And now we got Aquarius versus Sagittarius. I'm gonna go with Sagittarius. Now we got Aquarius versus Capricorn. I'm actually going to go with Aquarius on this one. And finally, we have Aquarius versus Pisces. Now, this is a very close one. I'm actually going to go with Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius did a really good job. Now, comment down below which sign you want to see fight all the zodiacs next, okay? Hello, today I'm going to be guessing the zodiac signs of the 12 Greek Olympians. For Zeus, I think he's a Capricorn. Zeus is the king of the gods, god of the skies, and Capricorn loves it their way or the highway, and let's just say Zeus believes the same. Next we have Hera. Hera is definitely a Virgo. Virgos are already regal, but they're also extremely blunt, and let's just say Hera is no exception. Next we have Poseidon. Poseidon is the god of the seas, and I think he's Pisces because Pisces hates being runner-up in second place, and Poseidon came runner-up to Athena and Zeus on many occasions. Next we have um, Demeter. Demeter is the goddess of agriculture, and I think she is definitely a Taurus. I mean, agriculture, Taurus is like the number one earth sign. Hello. Aries, the god of war, is definitely Aries, the zodiac sign, the sign of rage. Next question. Athena, the goddess of wisdom, is definitely a Gemini. Geminis are very witty, and also Athena was known to be a switch-up goddess. She could change how she felt about you. Um, Apollo, the god of the sun, is definitely going to be Leo, the son of the zodiac. Hello. Next, we have Artemis, the goddess of the moon. She is definitely Cancer. Cancer loves to work alone, thinks they can do it better by themselves. Hello, Artemis. Um, next, we have Hephaestus, the goddess of forgery and fire. Um, he was kind of the left out Greek god, okay? And Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius is also the left out zodiac sometimes. Love them, though. Um, then we have Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. That is def definitely Libra. Libras just ha give off that energy of awe, of like, oh my god, I'm so iconic, you know? And then next we have Hermes. Hermes is the god of travel and trickery. He is definitely a Scorpio. Scorpios love trickery. They love to get under people's skin for their benefit. Hello. Next up, we have Dionysus, the goddess of wine and partying. That is definitely a Sagittarius. Hello. Sagittarius are literally the party sign. Welcome back to episode 4 of Zodiac Signs on Big Brother. Taurus went home last week, but who will go home this week? So we had our head of household competition, and the winner gets to nominate two of the other house guests for eviction. And I was like, guys, this is getting boring. Let me just go ahead and win this. So since I have won the head of household competition, I choose to nominate Cancer and Sagittarius. Girl, I've already been on the block before. Like, we're doing this again? Like, girl. Me? What did I ever do to you, Libra? Hey everyone, it's me, Gemini, and we just played in the veto competition, me, Leo, and Virgo did, and I ended up winning it, so slay! Since I have won the veto competition, I have the power to save one of the nominees. Um, I love you, Cancer, I love you, Sagittarius, but I choose not to use the power of veto. Well, that means that it is time for everyone to vote. Who do you want to evict, Cancer or Sagittarius? Hey everyone, I'm Aries, and I vote to evict Cancer. Hey team, I'm Gemini, and I vote to evict Sagittarius. I'm Leo, and I vote to evict Cancer. I'm Virgo, and I vote to evict Cancer. I'm Scorpio, and I vote to evict Sagittarius. I'm Aquarius, and I vote to evict Sagittarius. Alright everyone, we have an announcement to make. There is a tie. Three votes for Sagittarius, three votes for Cancer. It lands back on the HOH to the side. <sighs> hey guys, it's Libra, and I have to decide who goes home tonight. Um, Sagittarius, I vote to evict you. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Libra can save all their little fake apologies. They were like, oh my god, Sagittarius, you're like a tougher competitor. I just need to get my competition out. Girl, I'm about to get you out. Well, Sagittarius has packed their stuff and left, but... I heard a rumor that one of the signs that's evicted will have a chance to return. This is what would happen if Libra fought all of the Zodiac signs. Sorry, my hair is like, so wet, but let's get started. First, we have Libra versus Aries. I'm gonna go with Libra. Next, we have Libra versus Taurus, which is a very interesting one, but I'm gonna give it to Libra. Now, we have Libra versus Gemini. Now, this is a heavyweight smackdown. 
I think Libra comes out on top. But next we have Libra versus Cancer. I actually think Cancer's gonna win this. Next we have Libra versus Leo. I'm going back to Libra. But now we have Libra versus Scorpio. I'm gonna have to go with Scorpio on this one. They're just so vicious. Oh my god. Now we have Libra versus Sagittarius. I think this is a good one for Libra. They win this. Now we have Libra versus Capricorn. I'm gonna stick with Libra. Now we have Libra versus Aquarius. I don't think this is too hard for Libra. I think Libra takes the W. But now we got Libra versus Pisces. I'm gonna go with Pisces on this one. And then we have Libra versus Virgo, and I'm actually gonna go with Libra on this one. Okay, Libra did very good. Congrats to Libra. Comment down below which zodiac sign you wanna see by all the zodiacs next. Guys, I have an idea on how to save the ship. Let's just like put a bunch of rice in it and then like suck the water out. I did that with my phone one time. Uh, girl, they really thought they ate uh, that. Y'all are awful. Sinking a ship is like totally 1800s. Like you have the entire ocean and you decided to hit that one iceberg. Like you really need to get your eyes checked. Were you playing bird box at the wheel blindfolded? Like this is so stupid. When I said I wanted seafood on the menu, I did not mean that I myself wanted to become the seafood, okay? We had a little bit of a miscommunication there, okay? Wait, why is the ship like low-key an acrobat? Like she's low-key like a contortionist. She's like bent backwards. Yeah, she better work. Wait, so like, what's that lady doing behind me? She's just like sitting there smiling. Uh, I don't know. Oh my God, she's so smart. They're definitely gonna turn this into like a movie. Oh my God. Okay, we have to like make up like a really deep backstory. So if they make it a movie, we'll be like the main characters, you know? Does anyone know where I can find like, you know, the captain? I just wanna speak to him for just a little second, you know, like just a little, hey, how are you doing? Bop, 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 little tussle, little molly wop, you know? Today I am ranking the Zodiac signs based off of how likely they would be to win in a fight with a bear. At the bottom of our list, we have Taurus, Leo, and Cancer. Girl, they are getting mauled. They are getting molly whopped by the bear. That bear is leaving there with a full stomach and some leftovers on the side. Next up, we have Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Libra. They'll probably make it about like 30 seconds, maybe even a minute. They'll try to climb a tree and then fall down, and then they're going to get chopped. Now, if they do survive, they're going to be like a quadruple amputee. Next, we have Pisces, Gemini, and Scorpio. Now, these three, these three are going to try to twist their mind and anger the bear. They're going to try to play some mind games. But guess what? The bear doesn't care for the mind games. That's not going to do anything to them, okay? So that bear is going to clock them into 2024. They might survive, but if they do, they're going to be, like, mauled in the face. And our top three for the day, we have Capricorn, Virgo, and Aries. Look, let's just say this. If you see these three in the woods fighting a bear help the bear the bear's gonna need it because these three are going buck wild on this bear oh my god guys i think i just set the house on fire what did you do well i was trying to warm up this fork because it was like so cold and I, so i stuck the fork in the microwave and it kind of just went no you did is that bad yes girl oh my oh my god guys help i'm stuck on top of this building just jump oh no i am not jumping no 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 ah! Ooh, that looked like it hurt. Oh my god, firefighter, please save my friend. She's in there. She has like a really delicate frame. She's really, really beautiful, stunning, and gorgeous. She does have IBS though, so when you go in there, she'll probably be on the toilet. Don't tell her I said that though. She would be like super, super upset. Okay. Look, I get it. The house is on fire, but guys, I'm just at the point in my life where it's my time to go. Okay, God's calling on me. It's my time to go. Okay, now. It's my time. Let's go. Uh, Let's go now. You cannot be serious. Yep. Uh, <sighs> my plan is complete. No one will ever suspect that I was the one who started the fire. Oh what gosh. did you just say? Oh, I didn't say anything. No, uh -huh, you didn't yeah. hear that. Okay, okay. 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 Oh my god. Do y'all see this? My house is like literally gone. Like 100% gone. Like what am I supposed to do? Like I'll just have to marry a millionaire. Are you serious? <laughs>